gout, 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 fatty, fat, fuck, fuck.
It's not designed to cool. Um, no, we have no openable windows on the first floor outside the back door, which isn't really a window. It's a screen sliding door. If I so on my hands because of that, you and still <clears> we can't out, have any air conditioning downstairs. There's just no way to do it. So <clears throat> last night, you know, Kat and I were sitting downstairs. It's 85 degrees and we're sweating and we're like, what are we supposed to do? There's nothing we can do. We can't, you know, actually we're anticipating going to sleep. Because it was so much cooler up here with the three air conditioners. But anyway, last night, I guess with the air conditioners pumping, all three of them in the house, it filtered the air. And I woke up this morning, and I didn't feel terrible. I was like, oh, thank God. Um, what, what do I do? Because, man, I felt so bad yesterday. Although it's funny, because someone said to me, I think it was Spider Dijon, said in the stream what, what chat right before I started the podcast, he goes, hey, Phil, so how are your allergies today? I was like, oh, shit, I should go take an allergy med anyway, even if I'm not you know, really being affected by it. I absolutely what, should go downstairs do do? and grab uh, allergy meds. So I did. And hopefully, you know, today will be not a big problem. So I shouldn't have too many problems today. I have a little bit <clears throat> of minor gunk and stuff, but it's not a huge deal today, which is a good thing. Okay. Let's jump right into the schedule. What I'd like to talk about is what we did last night, what we're doing today. So first of all, last night. Let's talk about last night's late stream because it was completely different from what I expected it was going to be. Last night on the late stream, all right, we were going to take Fable Anniversary from a daytime stream as it's been the entire playthrough and make it a nighttime stream. And I told you guys for the rest of the playthrough, it would be a late night chill stream. Now, I was anticipating probably maybe another two, three, maybe even four late night streams of Fable to wrap it up. We beat it in an hour. Like the plot of Fable Anniversary is so poorly paced. It's completely front loaded. 
and then all this stuff happens within like an hour and a half at the end of the game. It's like, what happened? Why did it like race to the end like that? Now, of course, I did play Fable Anniversary eight years ago. I don't remember it at all. You know, being honest, it's weird because I absolutely played it. I know, you know what I mean? People watched it, but I couldn't remember the game. And I think it's because in 2014, when the game came out, that was the year that I was in the midst of planning and moving across the country. Blah, 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 um, blah, 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 And it was a very chaotic year for me. I was in the midst of doing a lot of last minute events and things, planning out, you know, the move. Um, I actually flew out here to the Seattle area to house hunt at one point um, before I did the move. And then when I did the move, you know, what the hell are you talking about? When I did the move, then, uh, oh, my nose is itching. Then, you know, it was chaotic getting set up and everything here. So basically, it was a really chaotic time for me. And I think there's a lot of things that went down in 2014 that I don't really remember that well, to be honest. Um, and so, uh, I don't remember the playthrough. So here I am thinking, oh, we've got at least another two, three, four streams to go. We beat it in an hour last night. Now, now that I've beaten Fable Anniversary, all right, I can give you my honest opinion on it and tell you about, you know, if I'll be covering any, any further, all right? I, I think it kind of sucks. I think what Fable Anniversary is, is it's a taste of things to come. It was their first attempt at making a game, and a lot of people actually said that when Fable first came out, it was very underwhelming that the developer, what's his name, Peter Molyneux or whatever his name is, he promised the world, and when the final product actually released, people were kind of scoffing and laughing, saying, Where's all these groundbreaking features that you had promised would be in the game? They're not in it at all, actually. Um, it's kind of underwhelming. I kind of tend to agree. It seems like a very basic game. Um, the combat is incredibly simplistic. The story, like I said, isn't even paced well. It's like, the, you know, three quarters of the game is very slow moving. Then all of a sudden, everything happens within the last two hours of the game of anything of note. And it's like, geez, <clears throat> you know, what happened here? Now, I played Fable 2 and Fable 3. Fable 2 was actually one of my earliest playthroughs I ever did. And in Fable 3, it's I played years later as a new fault. release. It's Dark Dave's Although fault. those games are far from perfect. Trust me, they are. Um, I feel like they do things better. Like, Fable 2 refines the combat engine a lot better and makes it feel like your builds are more There's important. While in Fable 1, you can literally on just upgrade everything and just the use a little bit of everything. Like, I feel like there's actual builds in Fable 2 that you can use, Okay. So, <clears throat> so basically, you know, I finished Fable by surprise last night, not even planning on beating it. The ending is terrible. The ending is like two rushed bosses that aren't even well designed. And then the game is like, okay, you're done. Oh, but if you want to do this extra DLC content that was in, uh, included in Fable Anniversary, you, you can do it. Nothing. You just, I, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just kind of done with this game. I, I'll be honest. For, for the Fable streams, I had a lot more fun talking with you guys and chilling than actually playing the game. Like, I didn't actually feel like I got much out of it. It felt very... What's the word? Meh or mediocre or mid or whatever you want to call it. It just didn't feel like anything very different. Now, here's the thing. The game came out in 2004. It's almost 20 years old. So you can look at it today and be like, all right, you can kind of give it a pass. The game's almost 20 years old. But then again, it was funny because someone said during last night's stream, they're like, are you aware that um, in when Fable came out, a game that Stop came out at the same time was like Morrowind. So how do you compare? And I'm like, you can't even really compare them. Fable feels like a child's RPG. It really does. It feels like super simplistic, basic combat, button mashing, right? Quest lines are very repetitive and boring and not very interesting. Um, it's just not a very complex game. It feels like a game that you can just like, like mash your way through. Well, Morrowind is the complete opposite. It's complex as hell. Its storylines are more complex. The, the the systems, right? You have to learn commerce systems, magic system, combat system. You have to learn all those things uh, in order to really, uh, you know, even enjoy the game, quite frankly. Like, when I played Morrowind years ago, if people hadn't explained to me, oh, here's how you make money. Here's how you can use the, the magic system to make a great build that's fun to play and all that. I probably wouldn't have liked it as much as I did. I liked it because you guys helped me with it and explained those systems. You know what I mean? So, the thing is, again, I don't want to sit here and crap on Fable. I don't. But playing it today, in 2022, it definitely has not aged well. You know what I mean? Like, there's been so many other games that I've played that have been much better that are RPGs. And in addition to that, even for the Fable franchise, it just seems so simplistic. I think Fable 2 and 3 added more to it. And Fable 1 is just a very basic start for the franchise. Um... 
And that is to say I'm not sad that I played it or anything recently. Because I know you guys, a lot of people nominated and voted it. It's nostalgic for you. And I get that. This is a game that you played almost 20 years ago from your childhood. And you wanted to see me play it again. I understand. <clears throat> but, man. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. The game just did not age well. And for me doing a modern playthrough, it just wasn't very fun. Just being honest, it was more like going through the motions, interacting with you guys as I played it was more... Like, like, me talking with you guys and chilling was way more fun than the game itself. And that's kind of a disappointment, you know? It wasn't intended to be, like, a chill stream game. It was intended to be an RPG playthrough, and it really wasn't that engaging, you know? So, anyway. So, people asked me last night, oh, are you going to do the DLC content? I was like, no. That ending was completely underwhelming, rushed, um, and I was honestly bored. Like, I beat the game, and I was like, do I really want to spend another hour playing this, rushing through, like, trying to get the DLC? And like, no, I, it's boring. So we did some Q&A last night, which was fine. You know, we did about half an hour of Q&A on the fly. Um, and I, I, anyone who was there last night, I hope you guys enjoyed. But that's it for Fable. And that's weird because it's only a 12-hour playthrough. I expected Fable would be 20-plus hours. It ended way early, okay? <clears throat> so now this leaves us in a position that this coming weekend, we have to find another game for late night chill balance because I will be doing well I'll explain let's go through the schedule and I'll explain okay all right so today the stream was in your hands all right the polling was open you guys were going to choose what game we played game, today the fun and, and the, answer, the, the options were either more of Batman Return to Arkham Asylum from yesterday which we started or more I Final Fantasy care. 7 okay and per your results you guys wanted more Batman. Now, it was close. It was actually, I think, I want to say it was like 50. So actually, you know what? Why don't I just tell you what it was? Duh. <laughs> Why don't I just tell you what the results were instead of speculating? I could, I could literally load them right in front of my face. I'm just being stupid. Here. So, Batman Return to Arkham had 55% of the vote, while Final Fantasy VII had 45% of the vote. So, it certainly wasn't a huge difference. It was about 100 people. Who determined between the two um <clears throat> excuse me so um i'm down with that yesterday we enjoyed batman a lot i felt like it was a fun a fun Ugh. stream to get started with and it was fun jumping back into arkham uh, asylum for the first time ever i never replayed it in 13 years and in fact someone figured it out so yesterday on the level one podcast i had a whole segment about batman arkham asylum i talked about my history with it or whatever and i told you guys that I was experiencing, I suck. Um, what are they called? The Mandela Effect. That even though there's no second playthrough of this game, and apparently I've never touched it ever since I played it when at its release in 2009, I swear I did. I remember going back and re-experiencing the parts of the game, and I remembered the ending, and I remembered the part where I got stuck with the, with the line launcher and apparently redoing it without having issue. Like, I remembered all I that. Do? And someone actually left a comment on a video last night and cleared it all up. They said, Phil, if you're not aware, the reason you're having the Mandela effect is because you, we, in one of your earliest retrospectives years ago, remember I used to do retrospectives, I haven't done them in a long time. So Are you a at one point, retard? we I had asked. goals set on Twitch, this is when I was streaming on Twitch, to hit a certain amount of subscribers. When we hit those, we would do marathon events, just like we do here on YouTube. And what I used to do was a retrospective event where people would nominate some of their favorite playthroughs. <clears throat> and we would go back and watch parts of those together. And I would react to my own content. So at one point, people nominated Batman Arkham Asylum. And we spent a good chunk of that retrospective watching back people's memorable moments from my Batman Arkham Asylum playthrough. And I did commentary over them. So that was like maybe three years ago. That's what it is. People, I, I watched it back with you guys. It felt kind of like I was re-experiencing the game again with you, even though technically I wasn't. I was just watching my old experience with it. And that's why it stuck in my head feeling like I had played the game again when I hadn't. So, thank goodness. There's no parallel dimensions. There's no alternate fill out there replaying games. And and thank you and it's actually you just, it was our I retrospective event. There you go. Makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Makes me feel a little less weirded out. Okay. Now, I have an update in regarding to this playthrough. I'm, By the way, we're playing through the whole game. Don't right, worry. So we're going to do a full awesome. uh, playthrough of Batman Return to Arkham Asylum over the next few weeks. The game, from what I remember, 
isn't the game around i think the main story of the game is around go, 12 go, to 15 go, go, hours go. but if Fatty you're looking fat, for the riddler fat. riddles it could take 20 hours or more if i remember correctly and if you haven't noticed yesterday we spent a big chunk of the stream looking for the riddler riddles which was actually fun because i didn't really do that in my first playthrough and back then there was no direct capture no live streaming no interaction with anyone it was me reading comments after the fact and i'll tell you i was not going Fine. back and trying to um uh, find the Riddler riddles after the fact or anything like that. It was more like anything I found along the way I would grab, and that was about it. Okay. Um, so that being said, I'm playing the game in its entirety, and it should be a really great playthrough this time, especially if we end up finding a lot of the Riddler stuff, if not all of it, all right? But there is some bad news. This is some of the dumbest stuff I, about YouTube. It really is. So I uploaded the videos yesterday, and out of the three videos I upload, two well, get claimed do do? fully. So I can't make any ad revenue, basically, on most of this playthrough. Mm. What got claimed? The soundtrack. Miserable. Now you might say, wait a minute. But miserable. there's no licensed real music in the game. It's the original soundtrack for the game, right? It's not like they licensed the Danny Elfman music from the Batman movies. There's no, no lyric song. Why would the music get claimed? Because, get this. In the countries of Iran... Hold on. I'm going to tell you, actually, the truth. Because I have it right in front of me, the data. Super this is the dumbest scrubby. thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay? Only in these certain countries. You ready for this? I'm going to bring up the actual data here. It's Tevin's In the fault. countries of... Listen to this. Iran, Syria, Cuba, and North... Korea, the soundtrack to Batman Arkham Asylum was licensed by Warner Music Group to be controlled by a company called Water Tower Music. And Water Tower Music was instructed that in those countries, they own the rights to the soundtrack of Batman Arkham Asylum and should claim the tracks on YouTube. Now, I want to ask you a question. How many people do you think watch my content in Iran... Syria, Cuba, and North fucking Korea. They don't even have access to YouTube in North Korea. It's blocked because they have a communist regime and they don't allow open information. Yet those are the, because the licensing is different in four countries, they've claimed my video and say, I can't monetize my fucking gameplay of Batman. How the fuck does that make any sense? Logically, what should happen is when there's a content ID system in place, YouTube should run an algorithm and say, well, since this whole thing is an automated fucking mess, okay, <clears throat> what it should do is say, oh, well, no one watches you from those countries, therefore it doesn't affect you. But it doesn't. YouTube is a blanket system run by bots, zero fucking effort put into it, or even making sure that it abides by any kind of copyright law, they just turn on a fucking switch. And when the switch is turned on, oh God, how does it make any sense? Do you really think that my videos are intended for consumption in those countries? Do you think that anything I say and do in these videos even makes sense in those fucking countries? The communist countries. So does it upset me? Yes, it does. I don't like having entire playthroughs blocked from being monetizable on YouTube for no good reason. It would be one thing if I actively chose to put licensed music in the playthrough. For example, when I played the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy last year, right? And I actively said to you guys, I want these to have playthroughs that have the music in them. I'm leaving the music in it or whatever. That was different. That was an active choice that I made. I knew that was essentially demonetizing those videos. This is a case where who the hell would have known that playing Batman was going to get claimed by communist fucking countries. Like, what in the holy hell, okay? So I'm not pleased about it. What I would say is this, guys. If you are enjoying the Batman Arkham Asylum playthrough, if you voted for it and you want to see more of it, please support it. And that means, yes, many other ways that you can support my content. Whether just liking the streams and liking the videos and leaving comments on them, that helps for engagement. Membership. Gifting memberships to the channel. No, super chats, super like stickers, tips during live streams, or if you're watching the videos on demand on YouTube as a series, super thanks, okay? All those things are available as ways to support the playthrough. It sucks that I'm not going to make any money on the videos because they're all going to get claimed for music because 
in communist countries like North Korea, it's fucking claimed. I don't understand it. Actually, is North, is North Korea communist? Now I'm thinking about it. Maybe they're not. I don't know. You, you get the point I'm making, okay? You get the point I'm making. I wouldn't have cared if they were ever monetized in those countries whatsoever. It's super but hound's fault. Why the fuck do, do I lose monetization worldwide because in four countries, it's, it's licensed to a different company? It doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Dunce. Dunce level stuff on YouTube, okay? So anyway, we're continuing on with Batman today. I'm excited. You know, I've actually really enjoyed exploring doing the Riddler stuff in addition to continuing on with the gameplay, okay? Uh, later tonight on the late stream, it will be time for more multiverses, all right? Since Fable's done with, there's no option. It's just going to be multiverses on the late stream tonight at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. The good news is, yesterday, multiverses went complete open on the internet, supposedly. It's actually kind of weird because Slayer came on here, and Slayer lives in Singapore, and he was like, I can't even find it. I can't download it. So maybe in some countries it didn't go live. I don't know. But at least in the United States, I know it is an open beta now. And apparently when they did that, they added uh, LeBron James as a new character. And then they they locked certain characters that were already unlocked previously for the, the, the weekend. And now they unlocked newer characters. So now oh God, I can try out that. more characters that I hadn't Whoa. even touched yet Steals because the they're unlocked, which is nice. It means that there's oh. going to be variety in the gameplay, which I'm excited for. So, I hope that you will join me later tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, for more multiverses fun as we try out a new cast. I think they were saying Garnet, um, Jeff from Adventure Time, Superman, and one other character is unlocked. I can't remember who the last one is. So, we'll try those out tonight. It's been pretty slow. I Plus, need of course, those, Iron that Giant. Money. I, I really do. Unlocked. I need that money so, to pay my cool. bills. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm off from streaming tomorrow. Okay? No streams tomorrow. I hope that you all, number one, stay cool. I if you live in the United care. States, almost everyone's having a heat wave. Please stay cool. Stay safe. All right? And please, uh, if you watch my content on YouTube, remember, liking the videos, leaving comments helps for engagement purposes. Super thanks. If you want to contribute and help out during my day off, always helps as well. Feel free to get caught up on all the fun stuff. If anything, so if there's one that you missed this last week, check out Stray. Moron. Stray, an outstanding game. I freaking cried at the end of it, man. I had so much fun with it. Okay? <clears throat> Lol, who is Jeff? What are you talking about? Uh, did I say Jeff? What did I say? Mm -hmm. Jeff? I want to take the profile. Mm -hmm. Is it because four Jeff said something in the chat and I got distracted and then I said Jeff? I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> you confused me. You will listen to Jeff. Is me. Um, oh, Jeff from Adventure Time? Oh, what's his name then? What's the name of the character? Not J is who who's the, the main character of Adventure Time? Finn? Oh, I don't fucking know. I don't watch Adventure Time. Alright, his name's Finn. Never mind. Okay. Friday. Since we're playing Batman today, the mainstream on Friday will be the continuation of Final Fantasy VII, which I'm very excited for. As you guys know, I've absolutely loved every moment of the playthrough so far. Re-experiencing this oh, with a public oh, cool. presence, interactive audience has been outstanding. We're now into disc two. Which a lot of people are like, wow, now we're into the main meat of the game. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Admittedly, I don't really remember much at this part of the game. <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for that. Okay. And then Friday night, it will be Friday Night Fights, Capcom Fighting Collection. My usual late night stream of classic Capcom fighting games uh, Friday night. Saturday is the big marathon event, my friends. Which I know a lot of you have been anticipating at this point. It's the What's in DSP's Closet event. During this event... We're going into and cleaning out my closet, seeing what is in there. I'm sure a lot of the stuff has stories behind it. And we're going to see what is salvageable to use on streams for stuff. What possibly could be traded in for credit so that maybe I could get a new controller or a few things from like my local GameStop. And what's junk that I want to throw out. And I think we're going to get a good amount of all three. It's going to be a nice chill stream. It's hilarious because every time that people say this is going to be boring... I pull something new out of the closet, bring it on stream, tell a story, and everyone's like, oh, shit, that's actually interesting. So it's going to be a fun one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, during this marathon event on Saturday, there will be a special edition of Feasting with the King. What do I mean by that? I mean that in this special edition, all right, it will not be me actually trying a new cuisine. We've done that for a whole year. In fact, if you guys don't know, we just recently celebrated the one-year anniversary 
of Feasting with the King. Okay? It actually started last summer is when we came up with the idea. So, in order to celebrate the one-year anniversary, we're going to do a special best of episode. Instead of trying something new, we're going to specifically have an option to choose one of the three best cuisines I've ever had on the show. Option number one, Indian food. Option number two, Mexican food. And option number three, Hawaiian barbecue. And how are we going to determine what cuisine I try? We're going to do it right now. Because we're going to put up a poll right now on the main channel page of DSP Gaming. Here we go. Let's do it. So, let's go to the community tab. Ooh. Right here on DSP Gaming. Let's put up a poll. Which cuisine... Should Phil get for his special best of episode of Feasting with the King on Saturday? Good luck. Option number one, Indian food. And that was a year ago that I actually did that, if you can believe it. I don't feel, it doesn't feel like a year ago that I tried the goat curry, but it was. Option number two, Mexican food. And option number three, uh, Hawaiian barbecue. All three were outstanding. If you remember, Indian food, I think we got goat curry and a few other things. I'm trying to remember exactly what we got. The naan bread was really good. Mexican food, we ended up getting a, a kind of a platter that was a variety of stuff. I think that it had the, uh, uh. the steak, which I forget what they call it, carne asada. Plus, it had that stuffed pepper that I never had before. It was crazy. And then uh, Hawaiian barbecue was the wildest to me. Nothing in the Hawaiian barbecue looked good, but everything was outstanding. Oh, the, the, you know, all the meat tasted absolutely amazing. <clears throat> the macaroni salad was flavorful. Like, everything was outstanding. The only thing I didn't like was the Spam Wasubi or whatever it was called. Outside of that, everything else was, was a cr crazy good. So, here we go. The poll is now live. Again, it's the main channel page of DSP Gaming, the community tab. Please vote. Your votes today, tomorrow, and Friday will determine directly what I order Saturday morning as the episode of Feasting with the King for the marathon event. Okay? <clears throat> cool. I'm excited. And I uh, hope that you guys will uh, enjoy. So I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah, this Saturday should be fun. And by the way, unlike other streams I do, no pressure on Saturday to get anything done. I don't have to, like, oh, I have to finish a certain amount of gameplay or we have to get to a special react. Nothing like that. Saturday, it will be a nice, chill, relaxing event <clears throat> where we all just kind of sit back and go through the closet. And I tell stories about each thing that's in there, and then we make the determination. Save for use, trade in for credit, throw out. That's really the three categories. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to categorize each item. <laughs> To figure out what we're going to do with them. Okay? All right. And that's Saturday. Now, Sunday, we get back to regularly scheduled gameplay. So, obviously, since we're doing Final Fantasy on Friday, it means Batman will resume on Sunday. And Sunday night, I'll probably do another stream of Multiverse. Okay? Blah, 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 Outside of that, what we then need to do is we need to figure out what's going to be the late night streams moving forward. I would like to keep Multiverses in the rotation one or two times a week as long as the beta continues. I don't know how long the beta will continue. But... Um, we need to find some chill stuff for late nights at this point, okay? And, of course, everyone has a different opinion. What I think I like to do is maybe, like, Monday night, oh, we can yeah, do a yeah, one-off yeah, 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 Game Pass yeah, yeah, exploration yeah, 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 stream where we jump onto Microsoft Game Pass for the first time in months. We see what's available on there and maybe pick a couple games to try out, all right? If we decide that we want to do something, like, for example, some people have said, why don't I do Mega Man 9? I started Mega Man 9. It's incredibly hard. Why not do an actual playthrough of it because I never have before? We could do that. Uh, if I do play Mega Man 9, I can tell you this. I'm going to get it on Xbox because I own it on Xbox digitally. And that way there'll be no input delay. As opposed to playing it with the PS3 streaming service, there was a little bit of input delay. So I'd rather play it without the delay. Um, but let's see what happens. All right. Let's, let's on Monday night do a Game Pass stream, see what's on there. All right. And see if there's anything on there you guys would like to see me try or play. Um, and we, we got to figure it out because the daytime streams are going to alternate between Final Fantasy VII and Batman for the foreseeable future. But now I basically need something for the night rotation for variety purposes. And that's what we got to figure out probably Monday night. Okay? <clears throat> Fair enough. All right. 
that's the rough schedule for the week. I hope that sounds good to everybody. Okay. You want to play um, the fucking game? Let's see here. Okay. Fair so, enough. All right. Outside of all of that, uh, what else? Well, before we get to game news, because I actually have two different game news stories to cover today. Um, hold on. Phone locked on me. Um, yeah. Outside of game news, I have an update for you guys. On a story, I mean, it's not really a story, but it's a thing we've been talking about recently. I don't care. Um, I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Snort, snort. <clears throat> Are you gonna just complain all night? Just leave then. Hold on, I got an email. Just read <laughs> Okay, nothing important. Dead I'm air. If it was an important email. Every once in a while, I get an email from like the condo association or something. I'm like, I better read it just in case it's important. It wasn't important. Okay. <laughs> um, let's talk about what we've been talking about all last week, and this week we really haven't talked about that much. Upgrading my PC. Okay, if you remember, we two weeks ago I had a video that corrupted, and when it corrupted. I got frustrated, and I was like, guys, this is annoying because now it seems like this corrupted video thing is happening every couple of weeks. One of the videos I record is corrupt for some reason. I don't know what's causing this. It just started about two months ago. I need it's been an on-off thing that's really been happening now that pretty much every other week. My bills. Okay? And it's very frustrating because when a video corrupts, now i got to try to figure out a way to get that video online that's not easy. Um, and, you know, we talked a little bit about, well, maybe it's time to, to, to realistically... Get a new setup. Oh, here we go. Now he's talking about his WWE PC's eight years old. So he's a piece of shit. to wear out. I use it You're every a piece day, of right? Shit. So last week, this? every single morning on the Level this? One podcast, we talked WWE about champions. PC components. We talked about all right. Ideal state. WWE champions lives. If money wasn't a fact, your motherfucking right? head. What would I, I realistically need WWE for a rig that I would you want? Do. Right? You and we talked about future-proofing it, so not only getting will, exactly what I would need for idiot. today, but also future-proofing my setup so that it could do more in the future, yada, yada, yada. You know, we spent the whole week doing this. We got the whole setup, the lineup, all right? So then finally, <laughs> oh after God, a week games. of talking about it, um, <laughs> I seriously <laughs> got to the point where it's time to can price it out and see what it costs. Oh, my God. Well... Basically pricing uh, out everything uh, that we figured out that I would want for my new setup. And by the way, that doesn't even include fuck. a new uh, webcam. It's basically the PC alone hold up. to upgrade. You know, CPU, up, GPU, RAM, hard drive, uh, capture Jesus device, Christ. power source, motherboard, etc., uh, etc. Et okay? okay, it's actually to be able to get what we talked about. Uh, it cost around anywhere from two thousand dollars to maybe twenty three hundred, but you also have to factor in tax and shipping. So when you really factor in everything, you're essentially talking about a $2,500, okay? Very pricey, right? I mean, yeah, for any computer, that's pricey. But it would give me exactly what I want. Full 1080p, smooth 60 frames per second, every game that I capture. I'd be able to do a high-definition webcam and or camera. Also, as the face cam over that as well, and it wouldn't really affect it. It wouldn't downgrade the quality. <clears throat> and essentially, I would be future-proofing myself. So I wouldn't have a lot of problems moving forward, okay? Would it do full 4K? I mean, I don't know how well it would do that. Maybe it would have the capability of doing that. But I'm not really too concerned about that at this point, okay? I'm just capturing, streaming, full 1080p, 60 frames, no matter what game I'm playing, the level of detail, and being able to do a webcam or face cam over it. That was my concern, all right? Now, also keep in mind, if we did that upgrade and I got a better camera, now maybe we could dabble in other things in the future. For example, a green screen, etc. Although, admittedly, when I talked about that last week, a lot of people were kind of like, nah, green screen's not a big deal. We like your setup now. It was one thing when you were just sitting on that love seat with a blank background and it was Game boring and shit, shit, but now that you actually have an interesting background, we actually don't mind having you that stuff behind you. So, anyway, it is what it is, okay? So, that's what we determined. Now, I've been telling you guys... That all along this process, I had someone who was interested in basically financing the purchase of this new PC. Stop um, this! This is someone who I trust, someone who I've known for a while, and someone who, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I'm messing with Phil or whatever. It's not a troll. Because that's what people were saying, oh, it's a troll fooling Phil. No, that wasn't the case. It's not the case at all. Okay? It's someone who I trust. So, 
once we got all that data last week, all right, sat down, gave the data to the person, and we've been talking basically for about a week about it, about what can we do. Well, admittedly, the person is didn't have that much. They're not like, man, I could just drop $2,500 on a PC. That wasn't the case, you know? I think the budget was more on, in line with between maybe 1000 and 1500 So what we started to do was see, okay, to if we were to downgrade a few of the components that were future-proofing. So, for example, do I need a 3060 Ti or 3070 graphics card? No, I probably don't. I'm not going to game on this thing, and that was never the intention. You could probably downgrade the graphics card a bit and save some money. Do I really need the 32 gigabytes of RAM? Probably not. I probably just need 16 for now, and then in a few years, if I feel like 32 would help, then I could buy it myself and install it. That's one of the easiest things you could do on a PC is upgrade the RAM. It's very simple, and I know how to do it. That's not a big deal. Same thing with the graphics card. We were talking about, oh, let's get a 4K graphics card. Am I going to be capturing and streaming at 4K? No. We were trying to future-proof, but again, if you're basically trying to get to a situation where you can, it's affordable, just get the 1080p graphics card and save yourself money. So basically, we were like scaling back. What can we get in range with what would be a more reasonable price point? Okay, And we were actually working on this for a few days, and we were actually looking at a few sites that had some pre-built rigs that were very close to what that would have been. We actually had found like a site that was around 1400 or something like that, and the problem was we looked at it, we're like, oh, this looks great, and then we were going to maybe get it. Oh, it's in Germany. Oh, shit. Well, guess what? how much it costs to ship a computer across the planet from Germany? <laughs> it ain't worth it. <clears throat> okay, um, so essentially this is an ongoing process. Well, I got some bad news, okay? I talked to the person yesterday, and they were like, well, they got bad news. So basically, something went wrong with some of their own equipment, and now they have to buy expensive equipment that they did not expect to have to buy out of nowhere, and because of that, <laughs> they don't have the money right now to finance the PC. And I was like, well, that's life. I wasn't disappointed. I wasn't upset. Like, that's life. That shit happens all the time. You never know when something's going to go wrong. Um, I personally have experienced this over the years. All of a sudden, one of my monitors just dies out of nowhere or won't turn on right. Well, now I got to drop a few hundred dollars on that, and I wasn't expecting it, you know? And that's kind of what happens. So, in this case, um, it is what it is. I, 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 In reality, it's a good thing that... I didn't really rush into getting, a, uh, you know, this PC because actually it might have put this person in a really bad position, which I would have felt really bad about. So I'm glad that we didn't kind of like rush into it and then, oh shit, then there, something on their end breaks and now they can't afford to replace it. That would I would have been really bad, felt really bad for that, that case, okay? So for now, all right, it is what it is. Uh, right now I'm not getting a new PC anytime soon. In reality, I wasn't even expecting to do this. Like, when we remember last week, we started talking about, hey, let's talk about the components. It was actually, like, during that time frame we were talking about the components that this person kind of reached out to me and said, hey, I'd like to finance this PC or whatever. So, it was unexpected that this even happened. Um, what I was thinking is, let's outline everything that we want, right? And then, see later this year if there's a way to finance it. Like I told you guys, maybe during the fall... When there's new releases and there's a lot of attention on DSP Gaming because people are watching the new releases, so viewership is up, ad revenue is up, engagement is up, just in general support is up because I'm playing the new games, maybe then we could do some special uh, event to do some fundraising and fundraise enough to maybe get a PC that's not top of the line $2,500, but maybe we could get like that $1,000 to 1500 PC. I, realistically, I bet you we could do that. I, but I, it has to be at a time frame when I'm already got other stuff going on that people are excited for and supporting. It can't be now the dead of summer. Because like I told you guys, here's what would happen. If, let's say, I, I failed a fundraiser. Let's do a special marathon event fundraiser to raise $1,000 to buy this PC. I almost would guarantee you we would hit it. Seriously, because I know how generous my fans are. The problem is, all right, right now, because it's the summertime, right? Everything's slow. Inflation is high. Everything's fucked up right now, Okay. Likely what would happen is I'd raise enough to get the PC and then people wouldn't be able to support my daily streams for a while. Like, well, I just kind of went crazy to help you finance the PC, but now I can't PayPal. I can't tip you daily on a stream. I can't do a super chat. I can't renew my membership this month. If that happens, I'm literally shooting myself in the foot. I'm saying, well, I'm getting a new PC, but now I can't make money with the new PC. I need no one can afford money. to support I really the streams do. I need that money. This is the, the, 
danger of being a crowdfunded individual. I don't have any sponsorships or partnerships with anyone. I don't have any consistent income outside of what you guys contribute on a stream and just ad revenue on YouTube. And as you guys know, ad revenue is not consistent, especially now during the summer months. It's the lowest it is all year. And I just told you guys I'm making nothing on the Batman playthrough, which is one of my two major playthroughs right now. You see? Actually, now that I say that, I forgot... Did I tell you guys about the Final Fantasy debacle? The Final Fantasy VII? Same situation as Batman. The only difference is a company is claiming so you're going to be an asshole. Final Fantasy VII like I don't asshole. think they you're have a right to the it. But they're doing what's called sharing. Meaning I make a said, little bit of ad revenue on the videos you, and they make a chunk. But it always seems like it's a black hole. Well, at least I'm making a tiny like no bit on Final Fantasy you, VII. You're always still having problems. You're always still in While debt. While everyone else, is, you know, they're making they're making money. It's annoying. So basically, my two major playthroughs right now, I'm making no ad revenue on or making very limited ad revenue. Ugh, I want to watch some faggot um, and insult some... You know, oh and my. that sucks ass. So... <laughs> ah. So, that's the situation right now, all right? Uh, the good news is... Here's the good news, though. There's a silver lining. Earlier this week, a freaking... Uh, earlier this week, a freaking... Video got corrupted again. And I was like, Ugh. again, corrupted. What a pain in the ass, right? But I figured out a way to essentially what you can do is excerpt now this a, a clip me. for or a segment of the live stream archive as its own separate video on YouTube. And it's fast to do. It only takes about 45 minutes as opposed to the old system used to be edit down the stream to only be that length, which could take 24 hours or longer. Um... So I figured out this process. So in the short term, all right, in the short term, $16 if a video corrupts, from as long PayPal. as I have that archive stream, I should be in the clear. I should be able to still get that part of the video that corrupted and make it a video on YouTube, and you guys should still be able to watch it. It shouldn't be a huge concern. And that's really the concern. It wasn't that the PC won't turn on, the PC's not encoding properly. It's just some videos were corrupting. As long as I found the workaround... I'm fine. I do right now. That's my workaround. Okay. Like I said, I would hope that maybe later on this year, all right, maybe during the fall, when things Today's are exciting, been incredibly slow releases and people are already coming to the channel in increased numbers to watch and support, maybe then we can reconvene and say, hey, let's do a special fundraising event where I raise funds and uh, essentially we can afford to finance a new PC. All right. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, in the meantime, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, someone might contact me and say, hey, I, I want to, you know, maybe finance the PC or whatever. If that happens, great. I'm not going to jump the gun, and I'm certainly not expecting that. Of course, the one final option here is, as you know, because it was made public, which I think is really fucking stupid, Review Tech USA apparently had or has a PC sitting around. That's a PC from five years ago. That's still a pretty powerful PC, even by modern standards. It's not everything that I want. Certainly, it's not even as good as what I would buy now if I were to buy a new PC. But it's still a decent PC for today. It would probably do all the capture stuff that I want to do, at least in the short term, right? That would be more of a band-aid to the situation than a solution, right? But he offered to send it to me if I just paid for shipping, okay? And I was like, oh, that's a generous offer. Let me... See if I can get the new PC, and if I can't, I'll, I might take you up on it. Then he proceeded to talk about it publicly for several days on his streams, which got the entire internet full of drama and shit talking about it, which I think is fucked up. I don't think he should have done that. Because then what he does is, now you got trolls talking about it, you got other people talking about it. How is it anyone's business, right? How is it anyone's business? It's not. So, you know, I don't even know if he has it anymore. You know, it's been over a week since I talked to him about it. Um... Where we left it was, no, I'm not accepting right now, but if I basically have absolutely no other options and I need something, you know, immediately, then I would take him up on it. But it's been over a week. I don't even know if he has it anymore. Um, but, you know, I, I think it was... Uh, here's the deal. All right, and this is me. This is me being honest with you guys. And I've, talk, I've talked to you guys about this over the years as well. So I want you to... I want to reiterate my position on something. Why am I toxic? Okay, when it comes to charity and or doing nice things for other people and the like. I've always been of the impression that if you're going to do something nice, right, whether it's charity or whatever it may be, whatever you want to consider it, you do it for the sake of doing it, okay? 
You don't do it for the sake of somehow getting yourself over. You don't do it for the sake of saving face or looking good, whatever. All right? Over the years, yes, I haven't been involved with charity stuff. I've donated to charities. I've done these things all behind the scenes. I've never once talked about it publicly with you guys because it's none of anyone's business, okay? I don't ever want to tout that and say, oh, I'm such a great charitable person because I did this and this and this. It's no one's business, okay? Seriously. It, it's just, it shouldn't be. Take that I grew real. up in a, a Catholic school, Catholic household, and I was it's ingrained in me that charity is not supposed to be you do something good for your, so that you look good or you get something out of it. In fact, true charity is it's not anyone's business. doing something good and then gaining personally from it. True charity is doing it and getting absolutely nothing out of it. In fact, sacrificing. So, for example, when I was growing up, one of the things that used to be a requirement if you went to like a Catholic school is you have to donate your time to do stuff for some kind of a charity. And I, I over the years, I did things like um, at one point I did Habitat for Humanity. And I went and I I, I went Someone to a few shut different up this dude who's places where they were moron. building or rebuilding a house. And I would clean out the yard with people, you know, volunteer work, Stop that kind this. of stuff. I did, you know, clean up a neighborhood, going and cleaning trash out of the, out of the streets. At one point, I volunteered go, go, at a, go, a Jewish go, home go. for the elderly. Fat, fat, you know, this is when I was much younger, you know, for school. That's the kind of stuff that you would do back then, okay? Um, but that's what I think charity is, all right? To me, it's not like, oh, I'm going to do something nice for someone. So let me go ahead and publicly announce it to everyone. <laughs> you know, that's why I was so adamantly against that whole ice bucket challenge many, many years ago. And I think that ice bucket challenge situation was a situation. That's a prime example. I didn't really express myself well to the internet. And because of that, a lot of people thought that I was just some kind of Alive a scumbag. Because I refused to do the ice bucket challenge. And I was critical of those who did it. All right. I feel that that ice bucket challenge. All right. <clears throat> Ryan Gaines, that didn't happen, you're banned. That literally didn't happen, you can go fuck yourself. Okay. So, Meow. during that whole ice bucket challenge situation, that whole thing was going viral. Dump a bucket of ice on your head. So if you're going to be an asshole, ALS you're going to be treated like an asshole, you're going to be shown the door. And then maybe people will donate to the charity or whatever, right? It's rising. But what ended up happening toxicity. was the opposite. People were doing the ice bucket challenge because it was a viral trend. They weren't doing it to help with ALS. They were doing it to get themselves over there were celebrities doing it. There were fucking content creators doing it. And it was almost like, if you refuse to do it, shame on you. You're an asshole. Now, you know, I'm the kind of person, you're not going to tell me what to do. If I want to do something nice, I'll do it. But you're not going to force me or shame me into fucking doing it. And I refuse to do it. And a lot of people hated on me back then. I mean, this was, what, seven, eight years ago? A long time ago. But still, like, that was one of the situations. Tiger, tiger. Uh, aro, 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 tiger. Aro, where? Aro. I got a lot of flack for my belief system. And you know what? Whatever. But that's how I always am. You know, that's how I've always been as a person. So to me, it's like, okay, behind the scenes, Rich but offers me real. this PC. He actually <laughs> literally be talking behind the scenes, messaging each other. And he goes, hey, I'd like to offer this to you. All you got to do is pay for shipping. The Ziggy and he Ziggy told me here. a little bit about it. I was like, okay, so it's a good PC. It's certainly not up to snuff of a new modern PC, but it sounds good for what you're telling me. So if I can't get... Uh, you know, if, first of all, my if my PC's on its last legs, which is not yet, but it might be retard? soon, who knows, right? Well, if we're in a situation where I absolutely need a PC right away, and this is my option, I'll take it. But I said, I, I appreciate it, but for now, I'd rather take other avenues and see what I can do, and then if I need it, I'll come back to you. And that's where we kind of left it, and he understood that, okay? Next thing I know, I hadn't mentioned it, I never said a word about it on my streams. The next day on stream, what? people were like, so <laughs> Phil, are you going to take that donated PC from Rich? I'm like, how the fuck would you know about that? Oh, because he's been talking about it on his streams. Huh? Why? All this is going to do now, it's going to derail my content. It's going to make drama for everyone. And by the way, I hate to say it, I need when you do money, something I like really that, do. essentially that what money. it is, is now you feel obligation, bills. right? Because I'll be honest, I've been critical of Rich over the years. You guys know this. I've said things such as, I'm critical of his content. I don't feel that his content has a lot of merit. Especially on a day when it's a slow news day for him. So let's bring up some drama about Dark Side Phil to try to get Dark Side Phil, you know, stuff in my content and make a buck on his behalf or whatever. I've told you, I don't like that drama style content on YouTube. I don't feel it's ever been valid. And I've been critical of Rich over the years of that. So now, Grab right, salt. if I accept this pussy. gifted PC from Rich, is this his peace offering to me as a way of making up it's for the fact that the content slow. he's made over lie. the years? I don't know. Is he expecting anything from me? I don't know. There's a lot of writing on the wall over here. You know what I mean?
This isn't like, oh, this is someone who I don't know, and out of the kindness of their heart, they're offering me a PC. This is someone I have history with, okay? So, you know, that's I'll, I'll be honest, that was a part of it. That was a part of, of why I was apprehensive. And someone else just said, for Jeff, just says, you'd be forever in his debt. That's another thing, too. Do you really want to be in a situation where, even if he didn't say that, even if Rich didn't say, don't worry, you're not, I'm, I'm, you're, you know, you don't owe me anything. This is just me getting rid of a PC, whatever. It doesn't matter. When you announce it to the public, when it's in the public eye, that's now how the public perceives it. You understand? So now, even if I don't owe him a damn thing, all, everyone on the internet, oh, he owes Rich. Phil can never say a critical thing about Rich ever again because Rich gave him a PC out of the kindness of his heart. Do you see the slippery slope that we're starting to slide down now? You understand? And now, now all of a sudden I can't be myself. I can't be honest. I have to, you know, zip my lips when it comes to review tech because he gifted me a PC. And now I think you start to see the real issue here. Okay? So, like I said, if it were <clears throat> worst case scenario, my PC were, were, had smoke coming out of it, then yeah, I probably would have immediately accepted that PC. That's not the situation. All right? And I do feel... That in the long term, business related, I we could find it. a way. You're really crazy today. In the long term, we can probably find a way to finance a new PC without having to accept anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Hobo says, apparently Rich's chat told him he needed a PC, only then did he consider giving him an old one. So, this is like an overreaction. Again, Hobo. The thing was... It was a private conversation between me and him, and the next thing I know, the next day, it's public. And I'm like, huh? How is this public, and why are people talking about it? I didn't accept the... P that was the thing people were actually saying in my chat. So, when's the PC coming? And I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't accept any PC. You see? So, that's the deal. You know, that's why I didn't accept it, because a lot of people were crazy. Oh, why didn't he just accept it right off the bat? That's why. All right, Jasper, this is crazy now. You're being, you're being silly today. You're stomping on my nuts. He, he just stomped on my right ball. Time to relax. <laughs> My ball hurts now because Jasper just stomped on it. Ow. You got to calm down, buddy. I know you want it. You want attention. Stop but, this. You know. You can't stomp on my testament. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. So anyway. um, Yeah. So in the short term, sadly, the news is not good. The news is there's no more financing of any, any PC right now. Um, It is what it is. And that's fine. You know. But in the long term, I feel like maybe we'll be okay and uh, we'll figure out a way to do it maybe later this year. Right now is definitely not the time because I, right idea. now, you know, I, I, I definitely could not say, for example, oh, let's do a marathon and finance a new PC. And then for a month, I can't make ends meet and pay my bills because, you know, people basically were generous for the PC and I can't, they can't afford to contribute otherwise. I am beholden to my audience crowdfunding me every day. Again, there's no ads on this stream. Right? There's no paid sponsorship. There's no ad break. There's no, oh, use this code and save 10% at Air. checkout at some food delivery service or, you know, a toothbrush company. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> so there you go. Okay? All right. That's the deal. We'll talk about it later this, this, uh, we'll talk about it later this year. Fair enough? Okay. We've got... Two news stories to talk about this morning. Gaming news stories. Let me find them. <laughs> news story number one is bad news. About? Which sucks. Many of you may have heard, because it was announced a while ago, that they are, say goodbye, uh, making a remake, <clears throat> excuse me, not a remaster, but an actual full-on, from-the-ground-up remake of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Okay? Um, wow, what a the game moron. studio making it, you, you know, hasn't really released any this. information about it. It was just announced that they were working on it, and it's been in development for a bit, and we didn't hear much about it. Well, we got some bad news. All right? The game is on a permanent, indefinite hiatus. Apparently, they've been working on it for a while, and then they did what's called a vertical slice. And from what I'm to understand, now maybe I'm completely, uh... Excuse me, maybe I'm completely wrong on this, but isn't a vertical slice the idea is that, <clears throat> even though the game's not done, they're intending to take a segment of the game and kind of make it playable, so you can at least test it and see this is what it would be, 
when it's done. Now, by the way, it's not representative of, uh, you know, it's not representative of what the final game will be. It's an idea of what we want it to be. And so they present that to, like, upper management, and they say, here's what it would be when it's done. And this is what we're working on, and eventually we want the whole game to be like this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what vertical slice means. But essentially, they, they what they had to present to management when they presented it, management was a, appalled. They weren't just like, oh, no, this is no good. We want this and this. But they were like, what the fuck is this? They were like, like their jaw dropped how bad it was. Okay? Um, and so, basically, <clears throat> the, it, the whole project has been put on a definite hold. They took two directors of, the, of this re remake and fired them. They actually fired them and, and threw them off the company. They're gone. All right. They said, you did such a bad job with this. You're fired. And now everyone who was working on the game yeah, essentially was told, stop work. We don't even know if we want to proceed with this stop. idea at this point. And that's where it is. So sucks because, you know, some people were really high for this. Knights of the Old Republic is a game that has a huge fan following. Um, and a lot of people were very much anticipating Tevin's having fall. almost like a reboot of this franchise. Um Let's face it, Knights of the Old Republic is a game that's a predecessor to games like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. When I played both Dragon Age and Mass Effect, right, it's super hound. I ended up seeing uh, a lot of things that were part of that game PayPal. evolve and turn into things in other, uh, whatchamacallit, other, other games. And it's so it's cool to play Knights of the Old Republic today and see the roots of where things came from, right? But at the very same time, <laughs> um, PayPal is play, a and you're like, man, it's definitely out there. Interconnected I wish they had better not combat, some that better use, things here or there. Uh, magnetic you know, strike if they refine the story or tweak uh, it, it make more sense. To you know, it's definitely a game that I feel uh, could be remade one and actually be very successful. In and, and if it's successful, capacity, they could remake the sequel. Uh, they could even make new games and maybe revive the franchise and make new games in the franchise, right? So people were very excited when they heard that this game was being remade. And now, what happened, right? It's funny because now people were like, they should have definitely gave it to a different a, a different company that maybe is better at it or, or, or had more experience PayPal. under their belt. That the company that, that, that was working on it, redoing this, uh, you know, re maybe doesn't have the best track record and they should have they should have trusted another company with it. Um, I mean, not that people... I think what people are most upset for is that they saw a glimmer of hope that a franchise that maybe they really like and is true to their heart, something they grew up playing was going to come back is maybe never come back now. You know, like this was kind of the, the final nail in its coffin. People all the time say, oh, I wonder if Knights of the Old Republic will ever come back with a it's new game Dark or something. Dave's fault. And this was like, oh my God, this is great. It's a chance. And I was like, well, the chance has been ruined. You know? And that's sad. That is sad, I feel. I, I think that it could have been successful. Dick. Um, I love and it, it is it is disappointing I to hear that this happened. It. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, better luck. To, uh, maybe it will get... Hand it over to another team, or we'll get new directors in there. I don't know. But this is just disheartening for now that it's just indefinitely suspended. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, the other news story is in regards to Grand Theft Auto 6. Bloomberg <laughs> broke a bunch of news this morning. Essentially, number one, a lot of people have been questioning, why has Grand Theft Auto 6 been in such a long development cycle, and where is it, and what's going on with it? Well, apparently, if, if Bloomberg is to be believed it's because rockstar games in the last four years has had a complete internal upheaval they used to be the company well known for being the frat boy culture company right jokes that were over the top masochistic um sexist in a way a culture internally where it was kind of like a boys club mentality um and that's always how it has been but apparently in 2018 you know the company kind of got called out for being like that and they had an internal commitment that they were going to completely change from the ground up and become a more modernized company. Is it because of the Me Too movement? Is it because of social justice? I have no idea. But apparently the company decided they need to change. So for the last four years, the company has done an internal restructuring. A lot of people were either shuffled around or fired. And now the company apparently is operating very differently. Okay? In fact, if you, I mean, one of the things that happened was, didn't they... Uh, censor the, their previous game like didn't they go back and censor insensitive jokes and things in Grand Theft Auto 5 I mean you can correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's what people were saying that they went back and actually like changed their game after the fact to take stuff out that people thought was insensitive or something like that 
obviously that's the complete opposite attitude. Rockstar used to be the company who did insensitive shit in their games on purpose as a joke. And now they're kind of flipping on their head and changing internally. Okay? So apparently that's one of the major reasons why GTA 6 has been delayed so much is because they changed the whole company internally and now they have to retool this game to be more in line with that. Okay? But now there's update finally on GTA 6. Again, this is all speculation from Bloomberg. If it's not factually correct, Stop I apologize, this. but this is what's being said. So GTA 6 will have a... And by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to report this correctly. I'm not going to misreport, which a lot of idiots are doing. It's going to have co-leads. Uh, now, yes, you can say in GTA 5 also had three leads, right? You had uh, three characters that you could switch between on the fly, correct? Um, well, in this case... It's going to be co-leads, one male, one female, a Bonnie and Clyde pair. Apparently, the female protagonist is a Latina, and so this is actually set in Miami, Florida, the same locations where Vice City was set, but now it's in the modern day, so a lot has changed. You're not going to have 1980s vibes anymore. It's going to be modern day, you know, 2022, 2023 vibes of what it's like to live in Miami. If you also don't know, it's a heavy Hispanic population down there, so it would make sense that one of the lead protagonists is a Latina, but a lot of people are, are basically misreporting, saying... For the first time ever, the protagonist of a Grand Theft Auto game is a female. Wait, one of the protagonists. But they want to spin it like, oh, only the only protagonist is a female. It's wrong. It's, it's blatant misrepresentation to try to push an agenda. It's a, a Bonnie and Clyde style crime duo who are going to be committing crimes in Miami and playing off each other. And essentially, they'll probably have their own lives and backstories, but then how they inter interact and intertwine and how their story pans out together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's stupid that they're spinning it like there's the woman is the main character. Well, she's one half of the main characters. But don't just say that she's the only main character in your reporting. You're lying. Because you're trying to push a fucking agenda. And I hate that shit. Again, I am not any kind of a conservative right-wing guy in any means. Alright? But I fucking hate it when the media misrepresents shit to push their own fucking agenda. Okay? Is it momentous and important to know that there's going to be a female protagonist in a GTA game? Sure it is. That's exciting information. But it's not just a female protagonist, so stop misreporting. It pisses me off. So, um, what they're saying is that the game, at least as of now, and again, this is heavy rumor, all right, is scheduled for Take-Two's fiscal year of 2024. You don't know what that means. I don't blame you. Um, because a lot of people... Yeah, fiscal year is confused and everything, okay? So fiscal year 2024 means it could come out, like, late 2023. It could also come out, like, the whole first half of 2024. So there's absolutely no way we're getting anything about it this year. Probably next year is when they'll start to talk about it seriously and start promoting it uh, for either, like, a second half. I'm thinking it'll probably be just like GTA 5. GTA 5 came out, what, September? I think it was September. Does so maybe we, we'll see it out? next fall. Right? We might. Shut we might actually up. see it next fall come out. Jesus, fuck. Um, we seriously won't shut their mouths. All right, so we'll go from there. But, yeah, I'm uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. And, listen, I, I like the Can humor of the GTA games. Who's being a, but if it means the games are maybe taken a little bit more dramatic and seriously rather than always having that over-the-top, ridiculous, risque, frat boy humor, as long, let me put it this way. If you're going to remove that part of the identity of GTA, you're removing that humorous part, okay? But replace it with something else meaningful. Replace it with a different kind of humor that's funny and not cringe. Replace it with dramatic plot lines, so now it feels like this is a way more serious game, so I'm hooked on it. Don't take that out, but then take the identity out of the game, and now the game doesn't, uh, you know, feel good. You know what I mean? It still has to be a great game. I understand you don't want to be offensive to people, but at the same time, still make a good game. And I think that's where their, their challenge is going to be. Will the game still be good if they've taken out a big chunk of what made their games different? Because really it was. Again, look at the history of GTA. They always took the over-the-top, oh, we don't care who we insult humor. And that was a part of their identity. And if that's not part of their identity anymore, what are you replacing it with to make this game must play? That's the question that needs to be answered. And of course, we're not getting any answers yet because the game is not being promoted yet. It's you know, these are basically leaks or information that people are getting from insiders, so. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. That's the game news for today. Let's do some quick shout-outs, okay? So, 
We start off today with Gavin, who re-upped his membership for three months and said, good luck in your closet. Oh, yes. I have lots of luck in the closet this coming Saturday. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you for re-upping your membership and your support of the channel. A uh, couple tips to shout out. We start off today with Anso Kamaru. Let's get him up on the leaderboard. Oh, I want to watch some faggot and insult some homo. $110.09 from Apple iTunes. Okay, so Anso Kamaru, $1.50, says, I played multiverses for like eight hours yesterday. Wow, you got hooked, huh? <clears throat> the Neko was nearly perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. I only had like one or two matches that were laggy. So far, I'm loving Finn as my main, and I unlocked Arya for 3K gold, but she's too damn complex. Which character was your fave so far? Oh, let's see. Well, I was playing with Wonder Woman. Jake, Taz, um, Iron Giant, Harley Quinn, and was there one more? Was there one more? Oh, a Shaggy, right? Blah, 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 I would say a character blah, blah, I didn't blah, like. Blah, I did not blah, like blah, Harley Quinn at all. She seemed like a hybrid blah, weird character blah, with blah, some blah, range blah, stuff blah, that didn't make blah, a lot of sense. While everyone else has like a side, sm I say side smash, it's really your special attack Y, but... Everyone else has a side smash that either knocks back or has a great property. Hers is jump back and fire her gun, and the gun doesn't really do much. So I didn't really understand it. Maybe I'm just not... I didn't get the character yet. Didn't really like her that much. Um, I think out of the characters I played, I liked... Wonder Woman I liked for team games, because Wonder Woman has a team buff that basically absorbs a hit for each uh, character, and then also has the ability to use her Wonder Woman lasso to pull your uh, teammate back onto the map if they're getting hit. Not to say that I ever use it effectively, but I just like the ability that if you're good at the game, you could save your, your teammate. So for team games, I really liked Wonder Woman. Um, just in general, I think I liked Iron Giant, and I liked Taz. Um, although I also liked Jake once I started to learn his moveset a lot better, okay? Um, so I, I you know, those are the characters I enjoy. But keep in mind, the characters you played with weren't unlocked for me. Now, tonight when I play, I'll be able to play with a whole new cast. It's going to be like a whole new game playing with, with new characters unlocked tonight. So, we'll see how it goes tonight. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And by the way, that that sounds promising to me that you didn't have any lag. What that tells me is that now that the player base is huge because there's over like 100,000 people at any time on Steam playing, which probably means there's like 300,000 or more people playing this game combining with console players. Um, because there's so many people playing, maybe the matchmaking is good. It'll allow you to always match up with someone who has a good connection to you, because that was not the case when I was playing it over the weekend. I had a few laggy matches where people were teleporting all over the place. Hopefully that wouldn't happen tonight. I guess we'll find out tonight, right, guys? But anyway, that's that's uh, promising. So that sounds good. Um, Snow Carl took me $1.50. He says, I've been thinking recently how happy you seem with your wife. I want to know what you think the most important parts of a successful marriage is. How do you keep the passion alive after the initial crush? Thanks, and I hope they can as well. The difference between having an initial crush and a meaningful relationship is that you basically, I mean, I'll be honest with you, there's many different things. Number one is that you don't just have, like, it's not just physical attraction. So many people get a crush on someone because they physically like them, but then when you spend significant time with them outside of that, when that physical attraction isn't so super hyper strong anymore because you're, you know, you're with the person all the time, right? Where, where's the rest of the meaningful relationship? With my wife, we have a meaningful relationship where we like to talk to each other, we like to spend time with each other. We have things we like to do together outside of just the physical attraction. For so many people, it's physical is first and everything else is second, right? Well, that'll get you past the crush phase, I guess. But once you're past that, when, now you really want to get to know the person. <clears throat> you need to like the person. You know what I mean? Um, another thing that I actually talked about years ago that I feel is very meaningful in a relationship like, like that's going to last you know, a lifetime is you basically have to be willing to put the other person first. Here's what I mean by that. All right. My laugh so, sounds like ack, ack, ack. Yes. So I laugh and I go, <laughs> obviously, in life, you're a first person, <laughs> like, right? Ack, you're the, ack, you're, ack, everyone ack, is the, the main no, character of their own story. Like that at all. Right? Correct. Everyone is, you know, you see things from your own first perspective. But when you're going to get into a meaningful relationship with someone, you're going to be married and have a significant other. You now have to learn to, in some situations, put yourself secondary. Because that other person has to be the most important person in your life. You know what I'm, I'm saying? A pussy. Um, and that means sacrifice. And that, in some cases, means compromise, right? 
But here's the deal. If you have a meaningful relationship and between it, two people, just waste our time again. and the number one priority of each of those people is to make the other person happy, then it will work forever. Because you're always looking out for the other person and covering for, or not covering for the other person, but you know what I'm saying? You got each other's backs. You're always doing the right thing for the other person. You may have the absolute worst day possible, but then when you see that person who you love, right? And you know that their best interests are to, to make sure that you're feeling better. It could completely change your attitude and, and brighten up your day. You know what I'm saying? Um, as opposed to, well, me, 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 me. I had a bad day and because it's all about me, well, my day's ruined. You see the difference? And I think that's just one of the major differences is that for a lot of people, everything's about me, 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 me. First person, I only, you know, I only care about myself. That's for me. That's been a major life changing step for me is that understanding that it's not just about me. It's about my wife. And for my wife, for her, she's always looking out for me and we always take care of each other. You know, we have each other's back. We, you know, we share responsibility. My God, that's a huge part of it is sharing responsibility. You know, there's a lot of things in a meaningful relationship that are tedious and annoying. Okay. I'll be honest. Every day that I have off, do I enjoy going out and doing grocery shopping and, and running errands and the like. Of course I don't. Fuck no, I don't. I think it's one of the most boring things I could do. But when you share the responsibilities of the things that you don't like, then they're not so bad, you know? So I, every week, have to do tedious, boring shit around here. But my wife does some other what? tedious, boring shit that I prefer not to do. And it all gets done because we share responsibility. You see? It's not just about me, me, me. And that's how life has to be if you're going to be in a meaningful relationship with someone. At least that's something I've learned over the last many years. All right. And it takes time. It does take time, especially if you live in a life where maybe you never had a relationship like that. Or maybe um, it's hard. Let me put it this way. I've been in relationships in my life where things were great. But then when those relationships were tested, you find out it actually wasn't the one. You know what I mean? Like, it's easy to be at the height of a good time and get into a, a relationship that's fun. It's also very tough. PayPal. To be in a relationship that lasts the test of time when things aren't going great. You know what I mean? That's what that's really when the truth comes out about how, what a what a relationship truly is or what it means. Um and I feel that what I have here with, with Kat, my wife, is very different than any other relationship I've had in my whole life. Because yes, of course, initially there's physical attraction. And then you get to talking, oh, you like each other's personalities. But then when you actually start to have Time spent together, meaningful We're conversation, soulmates. life decisions made together, getting married, uh, you know, adopting Jack. Now we kind of have a family unit and then other decisions about the, you know, ups and downs of being a content creator. You guys know the deal with money and stuff. It's not all fucking rainbows and unicorns, man. But, you know, we've been together for, for years now and you know, we got, we're getting through tough times and it's, it's good. It's, it's basically, it's, it's proving that it's not just about those initial things. You know what I mean? That's what I feel. And I feel like I've had relationships and there's some that you know about and some that you don't. I've had relationships in my life where things were great, but then they just didn't last for good reason. You know? When things got hard, things fell apart. Things are not easy right now for us, but things aren't falling apart because we actually truly love each other and we have that meaningful level of relationship. You know what I mean? Okay. So... That's about as much as I can share. I can't get into private shit, fuck? but that's as much as I can share with very vague generalizations. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Absolutely, teamwork is important. Yeah, only fear of death. It sounds like teamwork is important. It, it really is. When, you, when you're when you in a... It, whether you're married or not, because that's a moot point. If you're well, in a, a significant <clears throat> relationship, a significant other, when you start calling someone your significant other, you are now a team in life. You know what I'm saying? You are. You're a team in life. It's not just about me and I... It's about us and everything together. That's how you have to approach it. As I say to Kat all the time, I say, don't worry, we're in this together. I got your back, you got mine. You know, that's what life is about now. It's not, oh, we were in this separate and now we got to do everything for ourselves. That's not the situation anymore, you know? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> all right. So, okay, I think I'm just double-checking now. We we did all the shout-outs. We have a very, maybe 10 minutes left. 
If you guys want to do just a little bit of Q&A before I take a brief break to use the restroom and then we jump back into Batman. Jay says his favorite Harley Quinn voice actor is Tara Strong. Well, she's who has been doing it recently, right? In video games? You know, it's why I, I, the Arlene Sorkin voice is the one I recognize because that's the one for the Batman animated series. But the Tara Strong voice, I've only played a few Batman games and not that often, so I don't even know if I'm really used to that one, quite frankly. So. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh. Jackie, I have no idea what you're talking about, and I'm not even going to repeat it because I don't know what it means. <laughs> Would I consider playing Battle Royale games again if there was one that interested me? Right now, there really isn't. I, I really, I don't want to go back to Fall Guys. It's the same. It's the same game. The thing is, I Why played it, toxic? and I was playing it, and you guys complained when I was playing it that I was playing it too much that it was the same game. Now, all of a sudden, it's virally popular because it went free to play. Oh, Phil, why aren't you playing it? Because I did years ago, and you guys told me to stop. It's not any different now. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you asking for? But you know, I don't think there's really had it hasn't been anything Feel original or interesting rising. in Battle Royale in a long time. So if there was a reason, then I would play it. Okay. X Shooter, we have this membership for three months. Thank you, X Shooter. Oh, one thing I should point out, guys, take a look. Last night we actually tied the record for the amount of members that I've had here on the streams. The record is six thirty four, and we tied that, which you is really awesome. Now we game. lost a couple overnight, which is fine. Uh, we have opportunity to maybe hit a new record. If we hit 635 members, that's the new record here on DSP Gaming. It's pretty cool, huh? We have potential that we can do that in the next few days. Astronaut said, did you hear about the near Automata door? A door hidden for five years in a secret room? Yes, but no one knows if it's real. No one knows if the door is real or if it's an elaborate fake. No one knows if it's just a PR campaign set to promote the Switch version of Nier Automata, which incidentally is coming out soon, and now all of a sudden someone finds a secret door. So it's really not worth talking about. <clears throat> oh really? It's a no, soft drink. I've never heard of it. I don't even know where you would get that soft drink. Uh, Nathan Smith just re just did a super chat. First super chat of the day says, "I'm interested how they'll continue the Arkham story in Suicide Squad." Uh, is it confirmed they're going here. to? I didn't know that that was the case. I thought the Suicide Squad was supposed to be its own thing. I didn't know that they Can were. Someone please uh, shut up this dude who's being a moron. Any of the Arkham plot lines. I thought that they were essentially dropping them and starting something new. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Dark Maggot, thank you for uh, re for uh, renewing your membership at the super supporter level. He says, cheers. Thank you, Dark Maggot. I appreciate that. Cool. <clears throat> it's an, alt see? Oh, what, it's what, an what, alternate what? reality, I'm being told. That makes more sense to me. It would be an alternate dimension or, or one of the... You know how in DC Comics they have the different worlds? They have like Earth 2, oh, Earth 7, oh, Earth cool. 42. So, uh, you know, different different Earths. That would make sense to me. Did I like the Under the Red Hood animated movie? I thought it was just okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. That's kind of, sadly, that's kind of how I feel. I need about the, that money. Um, I really do. I need that money. Pretty much all the DC animated movies in the last, like, decade. Like, at one point, I loved all the DC animated stuff. Then when Justice League Unlimited ended, they had a string of movies that was quite good. And then all of a sudden, like, they haven't been so good in the last 10 years. I don't think they're that great. So... <clears throat> Walking Paranoia says, The Harley Quinn seems like a dedicated anti-air character. I'm assuming you're talking about in multiverses. High learning curve for a niche character, but deadly in a smash like human being in the air is common. I see. So you're saying her air-to-air -air stuff is really good. Okay. Kind of like Chun-Li. I get it. Well, Galaxicade, I'm sorry to hear your membership may lapse. In fact, you don't have a membership right now. But it's all good whenever you can renew it. If you can renew it, not a problem. Dark Maggot says, Suicide Squad games seem to be set in the Injustice universe. Is it? I did not know that. That's completely different. Jade is ready for more Batman. <laughs> Ansel Kamara says, would you be down to play multiverse with viewers like the battle against you? Uh, can you even do that? Can you do that? I don't know. I didn't look into it. Uh, sadly, I had to say, but I think, isn't it only like friends list invite? In which case, do I want to add a bunch of randoms to my friend list? Probably not a good idea. I told you guys I've been resistant blah, for doing blah, that over years because sadly, blah, 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 tend to find blah, blah, ways to blah, 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 turn egg in their blah, blah, favor. Blah, blah, so basically, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, add a bunch of people blah, blah, to my blah, friends blah. list, but then they see people on my friends list and harass them and shit. You know what I mean? I don't know how it works. I'd have to look into it. Also, does anyone... Here's a, an, a question I'd like to answer to. This current beta 
for multiverses, does it have a dated end? Like, is it scheduled to end on a certain date? Or is it now just open-ended going to be forever? Because isn't it true you can spend money on it? So if you could spend money on it, why would they end the beta? That wouldn't make sense because they, they take your money and run, right? <clears throat> no, I did not hear that. Wolf BMH says, someone named Christian Daly, well, who's the guy who worked at Bioware and developed okay. Dragon Age, was and hired by Wizards enough. of the Coast. Now All he's going to work on a Dungeons and Dragons game. I did not hear this. I don't have money to do it. 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 Would I consider revisiting Filipino food? Yes, but not anytime soon. What I, what I would maybe do... um, You know how right now I'm doing the best of? Maybe in the future we do a worst of where we retry a cuisine that I didn't really like, but we try ordering different stuff to see if maybe ordering different stuff is better than the original stuff I ordered. But we're not doing that now. <clears throat> okay. My Ruin says it's no different than PUBG or Fortnite beta, but able to spend money. True, but with those, they never ended. You know what I'm miserable. saying? Like, PUBG literally was an open miserable. beta forever and then said, oh, it's live, it's public, it's not beta anymore, but it was still the same game. They didn't shut it down, reset everyone's shit, and then start it over again. It was, if you bought stuff, you kept it for the full game. That's the point I'm making. Like, I'm, I'm curious for people who are playing right now. If you're, if you're playing the game and you're spending money, is that permanently unlocked for you later? And in addition... Will they ever have actual, oh, we're shutting the game down for six months and then we'll reopen the it, game. or is it just going to be the, the beta will run forever? I'm being told right now there's no official end date, so. Okay. See, here's why I like that, because that means, for example, what if I say I like multiverses right now and I want to play it twice a week? I don't have to worry about multiverses is going to shut down and I can't do that. So I'm excited. I'd like, I think I might do that. I might play it like twice a week because I do like it right now, okay? <clears throat> Okay. Fun. Moxerus says since Rocksteady made the Arkham games, they're confirmed so Suicide Squad shut up this dude universe, who's Gotham Knights in its own universe. Is that true? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to look into it. I don't I don't I haven't heard any of that. <laughs> I mean I can believe you, but someone literally just said that's not the case. They said it's the Injustice universe, so I don't know. Tiger, tiger, roo, okay. roo, tiger, <clears throat> roo, All right, guys, let us take a break. I'm going to use the restroom quick. Let's end the level one podcast. Thanks for watching. Great show. <clears throat> I'm excited to jump back into Batman with you guys today. Okay. Excellent. All right. And by the way, I said this yesterday. I'm basically going to say this every day. If anyone has any ideas for an outro to the level one podcast, whether it's just a splash screen I can use or whether you actually have like a formal intro or whatever, or outro, I would like that because right now I have a nice intro. But I don't have an outro, so every day I'm like, okay, bye, and I just click stop recording, and it's just an abrupt end. It would be great to have, like, an outro to play us out. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so let's swap, swap over here. Oh, let's see. Oh, shit. I misclicked. Please don't crash the webcam because I misclicked. Okay, I misclicked on the wrong resolution. Sometimes if the webcam doesn't support it right, it crashes, but it looks like I'm okay. We good here? Okay. All right. All right, guys, we'll take a brief break. I'm going to use the restroom. Give me like five minutes. I'll be back. And then we'll start with Batman. So, oh, wait a minute. My camera's too big. Look at that. My camera's actually... Special delivery. Wow.
business related. I still have it. pill and that's it because you're just gonna waste our time again Today's been incredibly slow.
ずー。You know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. For this you ready for this the ziggy piggy is here every day now every day he steals my seat I was in the bathroom I get out and this is what I find unbelievable I am cat and I liking my how balls. dare you sir <laughs> how dare you that. Steal my I am cat and I like my you balls are? You believe this? All right, Jasper, you gotta get up. It's time to get up. Come on. Ah, you bit me. Ah, come on. <laughs> Let me get my uh, control. Oh, yeah, 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 this is what, by the way, this is what the setup looks like if you look straight down. It's basically my table, you know, controller. Here's my microphone, and this is the laptop right in front of me that I read your chat. It's the first time you've probably ever seen it from this perspective. Let me sit here with my shorts. There you go. He does fight me for the seat. You're absolutely right. He wants to fight me for the seat. He loves this chair. What, what actually happens care. is when I finish uh, recording and I start to upload, he jumps into the chair and goes to sleep. He, th he finds it, like, super comfy for some reason. I mean, yeah, the chair's great. The chair's absolutely it's the best gaming chair I've ever had, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay. All right, are you guys ready to jump into the Batman? Ready to re-explore the Batman? All right. I'm sorry, Jasper, but, you know, I need to sit in my gaming chair when I'm gaming. That's the point of it. <laughs> he looks at me like, oh, no. Okay. 
My ruin, no. So far, no issues, right? Played all day yesterday. Didn't have any issues with the game. Uh, the only thing I would say is the frame rate, sadly, doesn't get any kind of a performance boost on PS5. It runs between 25 and 30 frames. But outside of that, you know, it's good. I have no complaints about it. Young Bruce Batman Wayne on a trip to the Arkham Asylum for tourism purposes. The game devs were basically completely uninspired idiots who didn't understand how to make combat in any kind of game. Continue. The homosexual Christian the says between Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, me. and Tim Drake, and Damian Wayne, which Robin is your favorite? I don't know. I haven't had enough experience with Robin to answer that question. Most of the cartoons I ever watched with Batman didn't really have a full time Robin. Uh, most of the movies don't have a full time Robin, right? So I don't. I can't even really answer that because I didn't read the comics too extensively. So. Blah blah blah. So stop gabbing, then I'll start recording. <laughs> Blah 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 blah. Oh blah blah blah. Blah 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 bl
in my was a bit bit and actually there's scratch marks a mutated creature that, that looked like it was sitting in a wheelchair there's scratch marks on the eye exam chart that's creepy do you think that's a riddle hold on not physically up to the challenge that no. our medical practices present oh maybe it was a riddle oh there's another one okay it's definitely not that bad. an award-winning facility he's here arkham asylum our staff are here to help you with Oh. <laughs> ooh, 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 falls over. Euphoric Joker says if you follow the different colored lines on the ground, they'll lead you to each doctor you need to rescue. That's interesting. What? <laughs> Was this firefly too hot off the press? Sounds to me like a, it'll be a, a newspaper. He's stuck in the too. Oh, that's Boom. Very nice. I did nothing wrong. Who's, who's my favorite Batman crash, villain other than Joker? Oh, man, there's so many. That's a hard call. Probably Riddler, honestly. What, what do I do? Poor Jeff, no one knows what the hell you're talking about. Please stop. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's give this to Tash a great big Aha. Uh huh. Leave it, Cash. Can you control the ventilation system in there? Cash is a detective, right? One of the cops that helps Batman. Yeah, there's more gas in this room. A lot of gas. What the hell? There's a guy hanging out over there. Stop it! Oh God! I knocked. <laughs> so much for hanging out. Damn, he got owned. I can't let that man die. I have to clear the room. Of My laugh sounds possible. like ack ack ack. So when I wow. Laugh, <laughs> or. <laughs> Does that sound okay, like? Okay, Shacker ack, fan ack, 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 ack. goes over there. Like How would I get over there? I murdered a man. What are you doing? You can't let that man die. Well, I just did. Too bad. What the? No! Batman, I don't know if you can hear this. Board's showing power to Fan 1. I don't care. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Gotta hit all the fans. AJ Gamer says, Am I excited to see Batman return as, or Michael Keaton return as Batman next year? I believe that's going to be in. Isn't there. A, is it a, a Flash movie? Like a Flash Point multiverses movie or something? Yeah, that would be interesting. Obviously, I like Michael Keaton Batman. I told you guys yesterday he's my favorite one, so I'd be pretty pumped to see that. Behind me. How do I. It's like under here. How do I get to that? No, Batman! I wanted him to jump to the ledge. He did not jump to the ledge. He decided to go his own way. There we go. Oh, really? Clyde Baxter said, this is a room. Pirated copies of this game had a glitch. Batman couldn't fly around the room. The gas would just kill him. So you couldn't, like, escape. You'd fall in and die. <laughs> I mean, then you just don't fall in, right? There it is. There we go. Creatures a few years ago in the comics, they revealed the Joker. With three separate people the whole time, it was stupid. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. Aaron Cash, one of the most senior and respected guards at Arkham. Cash is only afraid of one inmate, Killer Croc. 
who severely wounded Cash once during a riot at the asylum. Cash remains determined, however, to keep the asylum's inmates under control and to conquer his fears of crime. Shout out to Matthew, who just did a super chat. He says, have you seen the, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie? What is your favorite Joker actor? I need the, I've that not money. seen I really do. I need so that therefore, money. Therefore, the only Jokers that I've seen are Cesar Romero from the Adam West series. Uh, Jack Nicholson from the Tim Burton Batman films, right? And <clears throat> Heath Ledger from the Christopher Nolan trilogy. I don't count Jared Leto. I don't believe that that was Joker. I think that was some kind of a hilarious joke played on us. Um, out of those, I, I definitely like the Hogan's Nicholson dick. better. But obviously, everyone loves the Heath Ledger Joker. I love that character. I just don't think that's Joker. I feel like that was a very different interpretation of the Joker character. Which is fine, because it definitely fit into that universe. It's been pretty slow. So... Any collectibles? They said... Oh, what, wasn't I looking for a newspaper? I think I'm looking for a newspaper for the the riddle. I hear teeth chattering. Where the hell is that? Maybe above us. But anyway, I think we have an interview here. Here we go. Safe interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nygma. What, what do I do? What, what do I do? Mr. Nygma is a suitable candidate. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. Huh. By all accounts, touchy well, subject. Fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. What, what do I Very do? Very well. My See. father, Haley, always called me a moron. I was determined to prove him wrong. Miserable. So I entered a contest. Is miserable. A twenty-dollar prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, You must hmm. have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! But I swore I didn't. And he hit me for lying. Oh, what a nice guy. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. What a nice guy! Let's investigate around, because like I said, I hear chattering teeth. Perhaps up here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, Riddler challenge complete. Defo destroy the five Joker team. I think I found the newspaper. And here's the guy who died. I murdered him. Firefly escapes. There it is. Is this Firefly too hot off the press? Ah. Oh. A pyromaniac, Garfield Linz began as a petty criminal but soon graduated to major crimes centering around arson, torching huge parts of Gotham in the process. But his fires soon raged out of his control, leaving him horribly scarred by one of his own blazes. His body is almost fully covered with burns. Jesus. It's like Deadpool, right? And he now wears a full-body flame-retardant suit and he's out pursuing his criminal interest in the of incarceration in Black Gate. That's dark, right? That's very dark. He burned himself, yet he still uses flame in his crimes. Oof. Okay. Matthew says, This Riddler does not compare to the Riddler in the recent Batman movie. I did not see the recent Batman, Batman movie for a frame of reference, so can't really say either way. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. The fa I forgot about this. That circle is the, 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 the uh, stun. I totally forgot about that ability. All right, so I think we actually cleared this room. I'm pretty sure we did everything in it. Talk to Aaron Cash. I shouldn't have left intensive treatment. I would have made sure that freak stayed where he belonged. That's it? So what's going on? My radio went dead soon after you brought Joker in. I don't know. We lock him up, gets out, and more people die. If I just had one minute alone with that animal. Oh, uh, this is this is part of the running plot so where shut up people think it's better to kill the Joker around. than to keep incarcerating him because basically he never gets defeated and he always comes back and fucks everything up for everybody. Am I watching a new Stallone movie? I didn't even know there was a new Stallone movie. What new Stallone movie? Never heard of it. That guy will not stop coughing. It's quite disturbing, actually. Alright, so there's one down, two to go, right? Where are we going now? How do we get out of this room? <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, look. Look what I found. Once again, I can't do that. That's a grating. Can't do it till I have the ability to pull, and I don't have the ability to pull yet, so... Kind of limited. I mean, I'm more excited to play Spider-Man 2 or Wolverine. I don't... See, I can't answer that until we see stuff about Wolverine. Like, Spider-Man 2, we know what to medical expect. Staff Wolverine, we don't. Kick the shit out of it. Kick the shit out of that grating. Will all patients please remain calm and move no. slowly to their oh, look. A Joker box. About whether psychosis is in itself neurotoxic, and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychosis. Joker episodes. box with teeth in it. Huh. Hello, Jackson Kitty. What are you up to? What's going on? The. Now wait a minute. What's in the okay, box? Okay, there's three the ways box? to go. If I remember correctly. Wasn't there a grading I, or a event I could have went through in one direction? Maybe I need to do that to get into the next room. I'm not sure. Or this could have been... Ow, oh, Jasper. This could have been it right here. Jasper, do you really have to jump on me like that? <laughs> Ow. Ow. I says that. Jasper, you really want attention to play, don't you? Oh, my goodness. I can't play the game with you on my balls again. Ah. Okay. <laughs> oh, geez. Rumors persist that Tommy Elliot operates in Arkham. Can it be true? I don't know who Tommy Elliot is. This needs a hacking device that I don't have. Yeah, who is Tommy Elliot? Batman! Don't oh, God. Speak. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap. I know. Just not for me. No. Uh, it's true. You really are the world's greatest detective. How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get it. down there, boys. See if he can detect being punched in the face. Slam him. Boom. I forgot that I had to throw. The game doesn't give you the prompt to do it. But I think you can do it after you get like an eight combo. And Don't I did my throw for the first time yourself, there. Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see. Don't leave All right, me. you freak. They could wake up. So what does it say? Free him. Rescue Dr. Adrian Chan. Okay. I'm sorry. I tried to tell you. I couldn't speak. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. Oh, people are saying they're, they're referencing Hush, the supervillain Hush. Oh. Wasn't Hush the guy who had the wrapping on his face? So maybe... Hold on. What do I do? up here? What, yeah, I think Hush was the guy do? with the wrapping all over his face, right? So there's got to be an answer in the room somewhere. Something to do with Hush. Arkham Night Shift. What, what do I do? T. Elliot. There it is. Another one of Tommy the Elliot. Ones. Right there, Dr. Oh, T. Elliot. Yes, Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends. And unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune. When his plan failed, partly due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages. But he was in the end defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots revenge against Batman, Generating complicated schemes with surgical precision. Yeah, wasn't he? Wasn't a big ongoing mystery, like, um, where he was trying to pretend like he was someone else and try to frame other people for who he was. But then he finally revealed who he was, and after that, he just became a villain. 
A generic villain. That's right. Matthew says he's the one who, who changes his face to look like Bruce Wayne in the other games. You're right. I forgot about that. Tries to blame Bruce for crimes. Ah, oh, look at this. So once again, until I have a way to do this stuff, I can't do it. I need to find a way to hack. Once I have the hacking tool, I can come and do all this stuff. I don't have the hacking tool right now. Because then I can hack this door, see? All right, so we got to come back. It's two down. Two down. One to Oh, look. Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Destroy ten Joker teeth. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. Pay my bills. Okay, we gotta go the other way to the left. This way. I see you. I just want to be sure there's nothing hidden in here that I'm missing. Oh, I was going to say, why would this exist, this little corridor? And there's our answer, because they hit a Riddler trophy. Okay. Whoa, blood. Oh, just there's blood on that. Okay, this way. Uh, Gray Fox is the new Stallone movie is called Samaritan. He plays a retired superhero. Does he? Uh, so that's an interesting premise. Maybe I'll check that out. Moxers, did we ever play replay Batman Arkham care. Origins? Couple Perhaps I will. Uh, if you guys wanted it, it's, it's my least favorite of all the Batman games from, you know, the last uh, 15 years. But I, if you guys really wanted it, maybe I would. Astronaut says, would I be a superhero? If I could be a superhero, what would I be? I don't know. I, I don't think of hypotheticals like that. It's a ridiculous question. <laughs> I keep telling people I'd be the elongated man. Welcome right? to Arkham Asylum. Who wouldn't want to be the elongated man? Come on. Our staff are here to help you. Yeah, that's Dr. Miller. Yeah. He can operate on oh, me look. anytime. I hear there's a lot. $16.51. I can't see what happened. The camera got stuck. I can't see. Oh, spinning bat fist. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mr. Puffy Nipples has hit me a dollar fifty. says, you know you can see more facts about the characters? I mean, maybe you can. I I like reading the bio. I don't know if I really want to sit here and read 14 menus about each character, though. I'm <laughs> just saying. <clears throat> Thank you, Puffy Nipples, for the tip. Tips very slow today, guys. If you are thinking of supporting the stream in any way today, tips would be great. Since tomorrow's my day off, it would directly help for that. So thank you in advance. <clears throat> it's been pretty Spider slow. D. John says uh, he's already the elongated man. That's way too much information. The X-ray room. You think I can stop your whining and listen good? Stop your whining. Looks like you're a bargaining chip. Gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Planned like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I'm quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker Happy Wednesday to you, me? Guts. Why don't you let me oh, look. Him? I'm sure we can settle. Once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. Trying to find a way to get in. I'm going to blow up the wall. But is there another way? Yeah, look. I don't think I have the ability to do two wall bursts yet. Oh, this is a new one. Special combo takedown. Allows Batman to perform an unblockable instant takedown after achieving a combo score of times eight. Batman can continue a chain of attacks after a special combo move. Sure. That sounds good. I'm probably going to get that. Nothing else new. That's the only one. So I think I'm going to get... Oh, wait. Auto proximity detonation. Upgrades the explosive gel to automatically detonate if nearby threat is detected temporarily incapacitate the target. Now nah, let's do the uh, the combo takedown. Cool. Mm. Okay, don't go near the windows. They'll see you through them. I see. Thank you. You can do up to three gels. Oh shit! I'm gonna do that. Where's the other wall? I just saw it. There's the one. There's another right there, but how do I get to that one? A 
What do I do? Ready? Boom! <laughs> wow! Yo, it took them both out. That was so sick. It took them all out at once. I didn't even know you could do that. That was so cool. And now they're all dead. They all died from the explosion. What's going on? That was awesome. They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been oh, just a link to the whole game. Months when he broke out. The warden was very specific. He wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility. Hunting down the other doctors. Not a problem. All staff have been rescued. That's right. We, we rescued everybody. Here. <clears throat> Shout out to Scuffed Jake, who just re-upped his membership for three months. Thank you, Scuffed Jake, for three months of support. Time to continue snort, to snort. Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. Ah, just what the doctors ordered. So now they want me to return All right, so Gabe Horn back is awesome. to the main hallway. I see. Very nice. Stop this! I think I got everything in here. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, there's some stuff I know I can't get because I don't have all the, the devices yet. But I'm pretty sure I got everything needed. Oh, doors jammed, huh? Pretty sure I got the trophy up top, right? I think we got. There's no riddles in here. It didn't tell me there was a riddle, so I think we're good to go. Blah 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 Alexander asks, do you think the Batman lore suffers from absurdity? At what point do the authorities say Joker has killed enough people to warrant just being killed and not bothering with arresting him? I don't know. Does that happen in modern society? You know, like... I don't think that happens in modern society. Do you see anyone just going to execute someone on an execution mission? No, they go to apprehend criminals, right? So in a lot of ways, maybe it's just really realistic. I don't know. If I was a super villain, what would be my superpower? I would also be the elongated man in either case. Matthew's the most anticipated games for the rest of the year. Probably for me, God of War. Outside of that, I'm just kind of a wait and see attitude for everything else. I don't want to get too hyped about games these days, and a lot of them just disappoint me. Oh, here we go. Are they okay? Yes, they're safe now. Batman, we've got another problem. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. Can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to... I'll get her there, Batman. To... You ask me. It's about time for a little baby. Wow. I don't like it, but... Who called the elevator? It wasn't us. It's coming from the lower floor. Uh-oh. Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then find somewhere safe to hold up. Everyone else, go to the observation room. Barricade yourselves in. Here they come. So, shout out to AJ. AJ Gamer just gifted another 10 membership bomb on the chat, which means if, we're going to hit a new record right now. Congratulations to the following people. Christian, Euphoric See Joker, uh, Majin, Aspire 410H, Peter Lavallo, Felipe Baxter, Lumby McGumby, <laughs> Rob, and Nivildberg, and Chris Stewart, who all just received gifted membership. Look at them. years later like you honestly it feels like a more basic version of arkham city which is fine you know you can see how this game turned into arkham city the combat's a little bit less elaborate and a little less challenging 
Uh, it's not an open world, so it's a lot more linear and easier in that regard. But I like it. I'm having fun with it. And I, again, I like interacting with you guys while I play it. Moxery says, yeah, this is my favorite game of yours when I found your channel in 2009. It's crazy to be watching you play it in the modern day. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? 13 years later, still doing it. I mean, do you really think 13 years ago I thought that I would be doing this as a job? No. Like I said, this was the first game I took time off of my actual job to do this as a hobby. And now here we are doing it as a li for a living later. It's pretty awesome, right? Pretty damned awesome. So, yes. Thank you, AJ, for the gifted memberships. And we have now hit a job. new record of 641, the most we've ever had on the channel. A new milestone for July. That is excellent. Thank you guys for that level of support. All right. Only three. not going to be able to do the inverted takedowns because they are not in the position for that. So what would I want to do here? If I glide kick one, the other two might see me. Go, 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 go. Fatty fat fuck, like fuck. Torture. <laughs> Come right up. Come over here. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, I knew it. I do. Oh, uh, I found someone over here. Nice. Pretty simple. See, it gets way more complex in the later games. Here, it's super simple. Boosh. And good night, flawless takedown. You know, keep in mind, this is the first Batman game in the ser series, so you were trying to get used to Batman's powers. And, uh... Oh, shit! Look what I just found. Okay, hold on a second. I think I just found the puzzle. This is it. This is all the riddle. Pardon me? <sighs> there it is. The perspective riddle solved. Very nice. Okay. Good stuff. What's going on? Arkham fan tagged me but didn't say anything. Oops. Okay. So, good stuff. We did it. We beat him. We even got the hidden riddle in this room. Now what? Uh. uh elevator, right? We're going to take the elevator down. Okay. Because now they took it up, so now we can take it down. No. Where is the elevator? We got to find it. Is it one floor? Is it down here? No, oh, that was the cell. That was Killer Croc's cell. Is this the elevator? No. Where's the elevator? There's another riddle in the room? There is? I thought we did them all. Is this bear the bane of his is life? The... Are you going to take your head off to slow. the Harley Bats? A silent killer of oceans can be found in a tiny jar. Is the generosity of our benefactors Is on the, the wane? The oh, this tells you where they are. The morgue, the foyer, the experimental chamber, and the secure access. What are we in right now? This is the sanatorium. We're not in the right room. We're not in any... Okay, we're not anywhere where we need to be. Nope. Medical foyer, there's one that we missed. So if I go back, I can look for that. But that's it. And then we have to go down. I think downstairs is where the rest of them are. I'm going to go look for the other one that we skipped. Where's the door? Oh, what the hell? How'd I miss that? I missed some chattering teeth. Is Multiverse similar to Smash Brothers? I mean, that's a, the entire premise of it. Yes, it's supposed to be like Smash. Where the fuck's the door? How do I get out? There it is. What the? 
I was team posing. <laughs> Just was go where I want, Batman. You're too. Posing. In this case, you're too maneuverable. So is the generosity of our benefactors on the wane. On the wane. Obviously something about the Wayne family. Oh yeah, I haven't been here yet. That's right. We didn't we didn't walk back over here. There's an inter there was an, I was just gonna say there was an interview here. Here we go. Station interview forty four. What, what do I do? Get another interview with Edward Nigma. Yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just a Whichever one he is, just being in this company is both irritating and exhausting. I love oh, Hulk Hogan's God. dick. Sabaner. My laugh sounds like act, act, act. So when I laugh and I go, <laughs> put that down. <laughs> Does that sound DC like has done a haiku. Act, 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 act. All hell's broken loose. Escape like prisoners run free, armed with deadly guns. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> I agree with AJ. AJ says he loves the attention to detail in the games. Like for example, how Batman's outfit will start to deteriorate over the course of the game. Does it do that in this one? I know it does in the future ones. I don't know about this particular one. But yeah, I agree there. It's a nice detail. So I'm looking for something that has to do with the Wayne family. And I'm not really seeing anything yet right now. Tiger, tiger, row, 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 tiger, starting row, row, row. Back in that front hallway. Something to do with the Wayne family. Don't really see anything. I thought maybe there'd be a portrait of the Waynes or a document stating they donated. I don't really see anything that has to do with the Waynes here. This just looks very generic, right? It's a small area too, so maybe I'm missing something. Let me look around again. Oh, this is just a deteriorated... Uh, Picture, what's this? That's ah, just a computer. Oh. Now, what, what do I do? Nothing over there, right? Now, I don't see anything. What could it be? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow, what a moron. This unit was funded by Bruce Wayne. Ha ha! A plaque on the wall. The Bruce Wayne Foundation for the Criminally Insane. See, it's it's funny because... It's funny because... I don't know why Alfred profile just popped up. That's odd. Thanks, It's Derek. funny because some of the things that. in the environment just look environmental. But they're riddles. But the thing is, they add to the environment. It's true that Bruce Wayne and the Wayne family had a hand in everything in the city. Right? That's pretty neat. Okay. So, Alfred Pennyworth, after a varied career, was employed as the Wayne family's butler when Bruce Wayne's parents were killed. Alfred raised the young orphan and reluctantly aided him in his quest to become the Batman. His many skills, ranging from cooking to medicine, make him Batman's staunchiest ally, along with a formal demeanor that grounds the Dark Knight and deflects those who might otherwise suspect Bruce Wayne's true Stop identity. This. Very nice. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. stuck <laughs> all right we did it there we 
we go. Everyone should have an Alfred. I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe people should do shit for themselves. Oh shit! Even more teeth. Okay. Very good. Very good. It's too easy. Oh. <laughs> Jump scary. A little metal box hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brakes? I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. Sounds good. Say Go for it. Night. to face your fears. All of them! <laughs> Shout out to Matthew, who says, Great stream, and you're the man DSP. Thank you, Matthew. Nice thing to say. Uh, Dr. Crane, Scarecrow. Uh-oh. At this point, wouldn't Batman have had the anti-Scarecrow serum, so... He couldn't be affected. No, Jesus. He couldn't be affected by this gas. Are you going to take your hat off to Harley Bats? Today's been incredibly oh. slow. More tobacco uh, trail. <sighs> Sadly, still can't do this. See, that's, I think that's it. That's Harley Quinn's room where she like put all these pictures of put Joker with kisses on it and shit. But without the ability to pull that grating, we Are can't get in the room, retard? I don't think. I have to ask. So sadly, I don't think we can do this riddle right now. We gotta come back later. Once we can go, go through the grating and drop in. So that's off limits. And up there, you know, again, I'd like to break that, but I can't, I don't think I can blow that up right now. I think we gotta do, do this over here. There we go. Oh yeah? Matthew says the scarecrow so you can scared him when he was younger. Do I remember? I do not remember. Like I said, I only remember very little about this game. I remember Arkham City way more. Uh, I don't really remember much about this game besides a few distinct things. I remember the Killer Croc boss fight. I remember the end of the game, but I don't remember this part. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Hey, guys, if you keep singling out another chatter, especially a chatter who's been very nice to everyone, uh, supporting this channel and gifting, I'm just going to take you out and ban you. So if you keep t talking shit, you're not going to be in here for much longer. I mean it. So you be wait, wise the fuck up. And uh, stop trying to gang up on someone. Thanks. So if you're going to be an asshole... Uh, I shit in your like coffee. Give me a dollar. He says, was there a Batman villain that was not Why that evil or became it? good? I'm sure there was. I couldn't answer that because I never really read the Batman comics in a dedicated manner. And they tend to flip-flop stuff like that back and forth. So... <clears throat> okay. What lies behind the walls of Arkham? Look at that. Why is the camera crooked? Probably because of Scarecrow, right? Help me, Batman! It's Gordon! No! Yep, this is the Scarecrow sequence. That's it. Okay. Look at Batman's eyes. They're glowing. See that? <laughs> uh. How do you like the sideways camera angle?
business related. I still have it. Oh, look at those eyes. That's crazy. Glowing bat eyes. He's dead. I'm ah! sorry. This is totally real, Batman. Barbara, are you there? How does he not know this is fake? Uh, hunt down Commissioner Gordon's killer. Seriously, how would he not know this is fake? So, I shouldn't your coffee to the dollar fifty. So, how was my coffee this morning? Oh, it was good, but for some reason there was like it was extra chewy. I'm not. I wonder why. <laughs> Mr. NYC, the thoughts on the X-ray vision see-through walls of video and video games? It's, it's nice, but <clears throat> it's so overused in so many games these days. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that. Bugs on the wall. <clears throat> it's completely overused. This is one of the original games that used it. This is an Assassin's Creed, actually. <clears throat> Ooh, creepy. Now your vision's getting blurry, too. Oh, nice. Morgue. <laughs> what a lovely singing voice the scarecrow has. Shut up, shoot me Look at this. <laughs> oh, creepy. Creepy crawlers. You're being haunted, Batman. See what's flopping in the bag. Maybe some big fish. Flippity flop. Zoop. Oh no! should have stood up to him, son. Like a man. It's your daddy! I'm sorry, daddy. Oh no! Mom? Your mommy! Uh, Mom, I hate to break it to you. You're very, very dead. Seriously. <clears throat> Hello! <laughs> wow, what a jump scare. Nice. The dream world. Batman's nightmare world. Looks pretty dope. <laughs> Bat signals. Oh yeah. Big boy scarecrow. Remember he returned to one of the future games too as a side quest. You're in my world now. Damn. You should probably eat something. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no! I glitched for a second. Did you see that? I like the visual effects in this part. They're pretty neat. Oh shit! As I choose it to be.
Why is he just sitting there spinning? Matthew says, compared to this, the one in Gotham, Arkham Knight, is like comparing apples to oranges. I don't remember the difference, honestly. <laughs> Oh no! I guess I was supposed to wait. And at the end of fear, oblivion. <laughs> Admittedly, this uh, this scarecrow is probably one of the better villains, and probably this is probably one of his best portrayals ever. Take a look at how he's portrayed in like the the Christopher Nolan Batman movies compared to this. This is like way better. Pretty lame in the in the Christopher Nolan movies. Okay. So we gotta wait here for a while after we this up. Boy, he's stupid. We have to go when he looks to the left. I'm thinking. What, what do I do? Nice, he's distracted. Bat signal time. So if I remember correctly, we have to shine the bat signal on him, right? I should wait. What are you trying to do? Take that, you son of a bitch! Daydreamer! Taunted and bullied as a youth, Jonathan Crane vowed to overcome his fears through the study of psychology and biochemistry. Kicked out of the university for experimenting on human subjects, Crane then adopted the identity of the Scarecrow and armed himself with a specialized ear-inducing gas that makes a person as deep as phobia as real. His ongoing criminal reign of terror makes him one of Batman's most psychologically dangerous foes. <clears throat> Alright. What's up, John Smith? Thank you very much. He says, hope you're having a good day. Thank you. So that's it. That's the whole Scarecrow segment. That was pretty short. I thought it would actually be longer. Ew. Can you hear Oracle, I'm okay. What happened? I lost contact. Are you sure you're alright? The great white Have shark? Maybe dad? this is one of the things? I'm I don't fine. know. Had a little run in with Scarecrow. Slowed me down. I'll get back to you in a bit. The great white shark. Yup. What silent killer of the oceans can be found in a tiny jar? A crooked financier who stole millions of dollars. Warren White thought he'd scored a legal victory when his insanity plea went through. When he got to Arkham Asylum, he realized his mistake. Driven insane by the other inmates, he was also disfigured by an encounter with Mr. Freeze that left him without hair, a nose, ears, or lips. Wow. Calling himself the Great White Shark, he filed his teeth into fangs to more perfectly resemble his new namesake. Putting his financial skills to use, he has become a major player in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a number of rackets from his cell in Arkham. That's scary. Okay. If you saw Spider-Man Far From Home, the illusion scene reminds me of the Scarecrow nightmare sequences in this game. Oh, I did not see it. Yes, I did used to watch Batman Beyond. I never saw the whole show, but I saw a lot of it. No, I'm not playing Xenoblade 3 on Friday. Xenoblade 3 is a 140-hour-long RPG, way too long for my style of content creation, and I know from previous experience, insanely boring, excuse me, insanely grinding, which could lead to a lot of boredom for my viewers, so I am not playing it. Plus, we're already in the midst of Final Fantasy VII. We're going to keep playing that. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, new? What's this? Jack Ryder? I missed one. Jack Ryder is an investigative reporter turned controversial talk show host, well known for his aggressive manner 
and his determination to get to the truth. What his viewers don't realize is that he's also the Creeper, a garishly colored vigilante, who Ryder can, with effort, turn into at will, although at that point the Creeper's man man manic personality takes over. The Creeper is usually on the side of good I and just barely on the side of sanity. Uh, wow. Can't find them all. It's impossible. All right. So, we've done it. Ah, I'm stuck. We've done it. We have gotten the, the riddle. And now we can actually go through the real morgue rather than the scarecrow morgue. I have no idea what Rimworld is. Don't know what the hell you're talking about. Jade, we've seen Killer Croc earlier in the game, but it hasn't been for a while now. And it wasn't, it wasn't Jim. Anything. Crane's gas must have affected me more than I thought. Are you lost, little bat? Having trouble figuring out what's real and what's just a figment of your twisted little mind? Say, yeah. <laughs> just roll with it, bats. It gets easier once you get in. You can't do the running slide yet. That's right. Later on in other Batman games, you get running slide. I don't think you have it in this one. Come on! <laughs> you got launched. Just one last puzzle you can have for me. And a little more. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. The slide was introduced in Arkham City, says Euphoric Joker. All right. So it's not coming up. Anything over here? And this is where I was supposed to go. What was the other way then? What the hell was the other way? <clears throat> no, this door's locked. Never mind. Never mind. All right, AJ. He says, I have to go for now. I'll be back later. Keep the good times going with Batman. Thank you very much, AJ. He says, your trusted psychic, Jasper. Thank you for the support today, AJ. I really appreciate it, man. No, no Discord. Don't do anything with Discord. I don't deal with that nonsense. Years ago... My fans wanted to set up a Discord. I said, well, if you set one up, you know, maybe I, from time to time I'd be involved in it in a little way and I would promote it. So they set one up and within two days, it was completely full of trolls. And then they abandoned it. So I said, well, I guess I'm not going to be bothering with that anymore. So. I live something to do with Bane. Twenty four fucking seven. Any of my guys even think you're in the room? They're patrolling down there. I've told them all you're on the way. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get a car down here without realizing, I'll give you your next rest. Hail, Roger time. Oh, I can give you a car. It looks like I can give you a new side. Got a few things here. First of all, pick up a secret map. So, you have given in and taken my map. I hope it proves useful. Oh, wow. Well, this is new. Is this for the whole game? Or just for this area of Arkham? That's pretty cool that it shows you all the different secret general locations. Now, they were saying something about this bear and bane. Is this bear the bane of his life? I don't know what that has to do with bane. Imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's sentence. That doesn't make sense. Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osito. There's your answer. I did not even know that. Finding solace in the smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his iron-forged will... Helped him survive when other test subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Determined to prove his worth, 
He sought out Batman and broke the Dark Knight's spine. But Batman recovered, which makes no sense, and managed to best Bane, cutting off the precious venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. All right. I would say so far it's a pretty good remaster. I like the graphics. I do. The only downside is, you know, the frame rate. But outside of that, the graphics, I think, are quite entertaining. They're pretty good. So, so there she is. I'm going to find a way to sneak up on her undetected. There's Gordon. What, what All do right. I do? Cool. All right, guys. I'm being told, by the way, that map is only for the medical ward. Okay. Guys, it is time for a formal break of the stream. It'll be about 15 to 20 minutes when we come back. About two more hours of Batman Arkham Asylum on the stream. I hope you guys are enjoying, all right? And, uh, you know, I will say this, guys. I appreciate everyone chilling with me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the support. Uh, tips would definitely help out today. Right now, again, this is the third straight stream where tips are quite low, like $5. Uh, I hope that when I come back for the next two hours, we can get some support in that regard because tomorrow's my day off, okay? But uh, outside of that, I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Thank you, and I'll see you after the break. Awesome. <clears throat> I don't have money to do it. 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 I don't have money to do it.
out. I'm talking about WWE champion. You piece of shit. You piece of donkey shit. How about this? How about this? WWE champions. All right. WWE champions lives rent free in your motherfucking head. I don't think about WWE champions. You do. You probably know way more about the fucking game than I ever will. Because you're an idiot. You're an obsessed loser.
I need th that money. I really do. I need that money. Pay my bills. Copper, 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 fuck you, copper, copper. There, fuck you.
had too much chili at Wendy's. It's been pretty no. slow. Not gonna lie. Guess who's back? The Ziggy Piggy is here. Again. <laughs> Jasper's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's Apple back? iTunes. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> Every single break. Literally. Every single break. Go, 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 go. Fatty fat fuck fuck. He loves this chair. I keep telling you guys. He loves PayPal. the chair, man. All right, Jasper, you got to get up. I laugh sounds like, ack, ack, ack. Oh, so when I laugh, it. I go, <laughs> that's it. Or, <laughs> does that sound like, ack, 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 ack? <laughs> no, it sounds nothing like that at all. That's it. And there he goes. Ah. Uh, unbelievable. Every break now, he goes to the chair. He loves it so much. That's funny, man. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to the uh, Batman Arkham Asylum stream. <clears throat> I hope that you're all enjoying the stream as much as I am. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit on him. It makes him move. Now. That's the one tactic that always works. That's the, that's the best tactic, because otherwise, other than that, he wants to bite and fight. And, of course, he's playing. He's not trying to hurt. But I'd rather just get him to move. <laughs> okay? Um, <clears throat> so... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Batman Return to Arkham Asylum stream. I hope that you're enjoying yourselves. I'm having a good time. We've only played for about an hour. we still got about two hours left on the stream, roughly. And uh, thank you to everyone who has supported in any way. Thanks for the likes. Thank you for the super chats, the super stickers. Um, I Actually, no super sticker, but super chats and uh, 10 gifted memberships from AJ. Um, the one thing that we're lacking, which incidentally is the thing that I need help with today, is tips. Tomorrow's my day off. And tips directly fund all the errands I need to run on my day off, including grocery shopping, pet supplies, and the like. So, And, of course, the one meal out of a, a week that I have with my wife, although it's so hot. It's literally so hot here. It's in the 90s right now. We already said there's no way we're going out tomorrow. We said it's way too hot for us to go out. We're going to have a day at home. And just order some kind of food for delivery. But, um, all right, so... If you can support the stream in any way today, thank you in advance. I appreciate whatever you do, but tips would be greatly appreciated right now to help with the day off tomorrow. Okay, fair enough. All right, that being said, I just received a $2 tip from 61 Second Man. I really do. I need four. Uh, why do you want me to play a dead game? There's literally new games like Multiverses that just came out that I can play, and you want me to play a dead game, a game that's been dead for like eight years? I don't think I'll be doing that. Thank you for the tip, though. Um, Why am I toxic? I did receive a $25 tip from One Minute Man. So thank you very much to One Minute Man, who is the top contributor of the day now. I don't have money to do it. 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 I appreciate that. It's up to $32 in tips. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, uh, thank you. Now. Remember the usual, my friends, $50 raised gunner glasses, $100 raised a hat of your choice, $150 a vest of your choice, okay? Um, oh, 672 said he did a super chat. Oh, did he? I don't know. I did not see that. You during the break? He said, I'm not trolling. I don't know why AJ blocked me and 20 others. Hint, hint, hint. I don't know, and I don't care. What? How is that? First of all, if someone were to block anyone, like say, I don't want to see someone chatting, they have the right to block you. That's their own prerogative if they want to do that or not. What does that have to do with, like, you? Like, I don't do care. You, right? How is that offensive that I block someone in chat? Maybe someone just says, you know what? I just want to talk to Phil. I don't even want to be bothered by anyone else. Block, block, block. They can do that. That ability exists on YouTube for a reason. So I'm not saying that they did that because I have no idea. So you're going to be an if asshole? They did, how is it your business? Like Why you're did they shown the door? Why are you being so fucking nosy? <laughs> Seriously. What, what do I How do? is it your, any of your business? Who cares? Maybe AJ is simply here you're to just watch the stream and, and interact with me, and that's all they care about. Our time again. Right? So how is that your business, and why would you ask me? How the fuck would I know? How could I even confirm that they that happened, right? And why would you ask me the question? Like, what are you talking about? I don't want any drama in the stream chat. Are you happy you got your response to your super chat now? I mean... 
Anyway, thank you for the super chat, six seventy two. Gee, thanks so much for that. Really, uh, pertinent question. Okay. <clears throat> Amazing. All right, guys, we're gonna jump back in. Quick reminder that tonight, indeed, I, I am playing more multiverses at six forty five p.m. Pacific <laughs> time. Is the new I characters unlocked? Four or five and of them that were not balls. unlocked previously, but they're unlocked now. Uh, so I'll be checking those out uh, tonight. <clears throat> and it should be a good time. There's a ton of people playing it, by the way. Shout out to Elski. who just re-upped his membership for a whopping 15 months. Thank you for 15 months of support. Elski says, hello, Phil. I managed to catch a chat live. Awesome. Thank you, Elski. Blah, blah, I appreciate blah, 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 <clears throat> Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, are we ready? Resume. Okay. Canada number one, we already talked about GTA 6 on the pre-stream, a.k.a. the Level 1 Podcast. If you want to hear that discussion, I recommend you watch it back after I upload it later. Okay? All right, let's resume. All right, so we survived the Scarecrow, and we're currently going to try to sneak up on Harley Quinn. We have to not be detected, or else Gordon may die. Oh, my God. Hmm... Here we go. A whale! Oh, that's cool! Joker's not messing. He wants the old man kept safe from Batman. If anyone gets near him, it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Nothing gets you past me. Shout out to Only Ice Batman, Infinite who just re-upped the membership man, for eight months. And best game of all time? I don't have a best game of all time. I don't know. I don't deal in absolutes. Now go! Couple assholes right there. Harley's got the old man up top. Is he the bad one? Anyone else? Oh, a, you can see a Riddler trophy hidden over there. See that? Is Catwoman in? You know, Jade, I don't remember if Catwoman's in this one. I don't think she is, right? Didn't Catwoman only appear in the second one, Arkham City? I don't think she's in Arkham Anyone Asylum. There, there might be a reference to her, no? but I don't think she's actually a That's character in it. Right. <clears throat> Okay, today's been incredibly slow. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, you really should color that hair of yours. All that gray makes you look so old. What? Keep your trap shut. Oh, she's trying to Gordon? <laughs> okay. Yes, Multiverse is similar to Smash Brothers. It's like old school Smash Brothers. It plays more like the older games than the, the more modern ones. Listen up, boys. The commissioner's just dying for one of you spots up that freak. There we go. Harley offs the old man. I've got a shiny prize for the one who sees him first. I think I remember this room. Darn, I was going to try to take him out, but he's walking towards the other one. I'm not going to be able to get him now because of the positioning. Nicely done. Someone bring me a bucket. Now I gotta figure out how to take her out, right? Mr. J is so going to beat Fat Brain. Give Stan a chance. You think anything you gotta say? 
stop. There we go! I did it. Cleared the room. Nicely done. You took longer than I thought. He's out of control. He's trying to prove something. I'm not sure I can stop him this time. You'll do it. Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. In that cell. In the center. Spoiling a surprise. Be quiet. Oh, am I getting to you? Am I? Good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember this next bit. It wants Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Uh, Get behind me. Now. Bane. Bane? Oh shit. <laughs> what, what do I do? I thought he broke out of black game. Cut me no. Who did this to me? Dr. Young, the blue heart. The venom from my blood must stop her. Sorry, Hasbane. The good doctor won't be a problem much longer. How hmm. about my puppet? What say we cut him down? Open him up. We're gonna have a main boss fight. I don't remember this. When did I last play Dead Space game? A few years ago, did I play Dead Space 2? I believe again. That was years ago. So it's been a while. What do I do? Look out! This sucks. He doesn't want to fight you. He's nuts because he got the, he got the freaking venom put into him. All right. Oh my god. You gotta dodge so early. Dude, you gotta dodge incredibly early. What do I get him to run into? I don't remember. Obviously a puzzle boss. The batarangs don't work, and the stun doesn't work. What, what do I do? What, what do I do? What, what do I just do? Rip out his venom pump when he's disoriented. I can't hit him at all. What, what do I do? Hit him once you get hit, yeah. I will break you this time. Batman. Maybe you just gotta wait. You just gotta wait for him to be open. I don't know. You will not escape me again. Jesus. Jesus. Quick batarang throw to stun him while charging. He completely ignored it every other time. Alright. I will break. 
like you this time, Batman! Why did Batman whiff completely? Okay. Fight leaves something to be desired. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no, you did it, you motherfucking! You can't see the boss's health meter. Oh, all right. I'll move my camera. Mark my I guess. fucking words. This is the first time in the game that it's been a problem. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. Those Thirteen year old boss battles. Fucked. Yeah. Let this be. They were exciting back then. Today they're like, oh brother. You're fucked. <laughs> and you are done. Alright. I can't I'm trying to dodge. I'm I like he's kicking me up to the same spot. <laughs> Blocking the combo oh, meter. Dude. It's like no matter where I put it, it blocks something. Yeah, now people say, oh, it's blocking the combo meter. Like, geez, dude. There's nowhere I can put it. Everywhere I put it, it blocks a gadget, a gizmo, or a menu. <laughs> Alright, try this. You saw that, right? He completely whiffed. He went right through him. Once again, I have defeated you. Like I said, the combat, it definitely evolved over the years. The tracking of the combat got much better in the later games. And this is kind of like, I appreciate it's not that. even that precise where you want to hit a certain way, you whiff, go the wrong, wrong way, you know? Annoying. All right. I see some, some contributions. Thank you, guys. Obviously, I'll shut those out once the boss fight's over. Thank you, guys, for that. So basically, never attack him, right? Never really attack him. Just uh, dodge and wait for the stun. He's a little help, eh? Little kid. Boy. I was hoping he'd be giving him to drop it on his own head, but no. Better strategy here might be just like, ignore the little minions or just laugh at him. He's stunning himself. Yep, that's what he's supposed to do. There we go. 
or the minions. Yes, thank you, Eric. I'm gonna show you your tip when I get a chance. I have to do the boss fight. Don't worry. Thank you, Eric. It's been pretty slow. Not gonna lie. Which I can do there. Again, he charges when I'm in the middle of fighting some other guys, so I can't see. It. Or can I do anything about it? The Ziggy Piggy is here. I need one more hit. Still need another hit because uh, he healed a little bit with the venom. This should be it. Yeah, here we go. Honestly, pretty disappointing. You think there'd be real combat? There's not. You're really not going to fight anything. You're just dodging and punishing and dodging and punishing. There you go. Beautiful payback. Keep bang. Very nice. All right. Summon the Batmobile. I'm fine, Jim. Where's Quinn? Hello, Pepsi Man. How are you? He must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. We need to get you off the island. I'm not a rookie. I can handle myself. And he follows. <laughs> Great. I will break you, Batman. The and the Bruja. No, Bane. This time I break you. Uh, vehicle assist. Oops, now you fucked up the Batmobile, though. Stop this! Jim, get back to the main line. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. <laughs> huh. Ready to go now, sir. So if you're gonna be an asshole, Maybe yeah, unless you give for the Batmobile for the game. Shown the door. What does it mean? It's which? Spanish for which? Spanish for which? That's right. That's right. There's no Batmobile in City either. There's no Batmobile until Arkham Knight, and that's when it's rebuilt as the tank Arkham. rather than the classic go Batmobile. The Pull up all you can find on. Leveled Dr. up. I'll go through anything you find once I get to the cave. A bat cave on Arkham Island? I built it years ago. It's best to plan ahead for situations like this. Uh huh. How did you manage to keep this a secret? It's me, remember? So uh. Do you think Dr. Young's been experimenting with venom? The same chemical that turns Bane into that animal? Yes, I'm worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker uh. wants the venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. So we go to Arkham North, and that's where the, the Arkham Batcave is. Interesting. Okay, said, now let's do some shout outs. Thank you guys for your support. It seems like it's 61 a second man to me, $2. And I'm looking forward to the closet stream. You're always still un having problems. You're always rare still in debt unsealed and, and PS2 I games I'm interested in. Consider putting them on eBay. I can't put anything on eBay, as I've already explained. There's absolutely no way I could possibly do that. And I'm not looking to sell anything. I'm basically looking to trade stuff into physical stores for credit uh, or possibly uh, you know, using stuff for actual content creation. But I can't sell anything online because of the trolls. It's just not going to work. Thank you for the tip. Now, Eric, thank you for a $12 tip. He says, I've been a fan of Review Tech for several years. You got me turned on to your channel. I love your streaming content. Thank you so much, Eric. That's very nice of you to say. <clears throat> okay. And uh, let's see. 
So that would be uh, 12 plus 34 retard? would be 46. Ask. $46 in tips. Yes, thank you, Eric, for the tip. Appreciate that. And thanks for enjoying the content. Uh, and then we've got Devon Bernstein, who just got banned from the chat for basically being stupid and interrogating Eric as if there's something wrong with Eric tipping me, and says, I gave it the book end to a troll in the streets of Houston, Texas. Can you dig that sucker? No, you didn't. But thank you for the tip. Uh, I appreciate that. I think this is someone impersonating him, by the way. So thank you for the dollar fifty tip. Okay. There you go. Duh! Mr. NYC says, isn't it convenient how there's so many big caves and convenient spots in Arkham City? I guess so. Alright, we have a new ability. This one is special combo boost. Allows special combo moves to be executed after achieving a combo of times five or times eight. I wonder how you do those. I don't know. <clears throat> More armor. Uh, the bat battering that will dizzy enemies. Throw two at once, I think this is. Homing, uh, remote control you need. Again, I remember you need this by the end of the game to do certain puzzles. But we're not to that point yet, I don't think. <clears throat> Multiple frequency detonator. Selective detonation of explosive gel. Useful for advanced takedown tactics. Hmm. I think I'll still do the combo stuff. I think we'll do this, the special combo. I didn't do the answers. I don't know how to do them. It doesn't tell you how to do it. Maybe it just happens. I don't know. It actually doesn't explain it. All right. We'll just do that. There you go. All right. So they wanted us to go to Arkham North now, correct? Yeah, see? New location added to the map. <clears throat> so we got to leave where we are. Go to Arkham North, back to where we were, and apparently there's an area over here. Perhaps, perhaps we have to go through the cave. Do you want to? Remember there was the, the side area. Game? I don't know. Well, we'll go back there and we'll figure it out, I guess. What's up, Expand Dogs? Is he excited for multiverses tonight? He recommends trying out Finn. All right, I'm gonna probably try every new character that unlocks for sure. Okay. Did Second Son do a good job of modeling Seattle? Let me put it this way: Second Son had Seattle landmarks in it. Was it authentic to the actual layout of Seattle? No, it was not. But having the landmarks in it was definitely a plus. We have some hostels. Do you have anything here I didn't get already? Let's see. Here goes gas. It's been pretty slow. And you see what I see? This is another one of the unique positions. It's the back! The counter take that. All right. The music is so epic in these fights. Oh my god. The music won't even stop. It's going crazy. Is there a reason why I'm doing this? Level. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. Huh. Yes, I don't know. I don't think I can do... People were saying I couldn't do the other two riddles in this area right now. So maybe I shouldn't worry too much about the riddles and just come back later and do them. I don't really see much else I can do. <laughs> Poor guy taken out. Look, can I climb up here? You can't climb here, or you can climb here. Did I already do this? I don't remember if I did this or not. I think I did. I think when I first came up here, I, I was looking around and I found a trophy. R goes to the super chat saying, Is Batman a real person? Well, I'm sure there might be real life vigilantes, but I don't think there's actually a real Batman. No, what. The Ninja's only fans notifications in the Super Chat saying, thank you for re-upping your membership. I didn't re-up my membership. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even have a membership to Ninja's only fans notifications. What kind of content does Ninja put on his only fans? <laughs> Here's how we got into the medical ward right there. I can't climb this. Look, there we go. Shocks me.
Okay. Let's fight these guys. Twenty-two, and the music stopped. Haha! <laughs> you go into the visitor center? I don't think you can yet, right? You can. Never mind. I didn't even know you could go in here. Is this end game content over here? Visitor room. Come in. Sit down. Off your mask. So that I was thinking. You really could use a friend in here. Someone to talk to, share secrets with. <laughs> Shall we start with the big one? Who is that behind the mask? Why do you feel the need to go out into the world and fight people like me? Do you really think you can <laughs> win? We'll see. <laughs> is he is really he's Joker here. there? With the television on his head? What does it say? It says... Monty was here? Who the hell's Monty? I don't know. That's right, this is the end of the game. But this is creepy because you could go here during the course of the game and look around at stuff in first-person perspective. But I don't think you can do anything here till the very end. Yeah, see, it's a dead end. Isn't it true if you come back here during the course of the campaign that he says different things? I think so. I think as you get further into the game, he says different messages to Batman to, like, give him, like, a, like mess him up psychologically. No, the game does not run at 60 frames. This game is running between 25 and 30 frames, I would say. So, uh, yeah, no 60 frames on this one. Well, actually, one of the lower frame rate playthroughs I've done in many years because... The modern consoles usually run everything at 60, and this one does not. Alright, so... Need to Argos and Ninja Only Fans Notifications. Uh, I'm not going to type all that name out. I'm just going to say... Ninja's Only Fans Notifications. Thank you for the super chats. Guys, we're three dollars away from the Gunner Glasses reward today. I need those. As I said, if you'd like to help out the stream in any way, I would recommend tipping would help me a lot right now. Uh, tomorrow's my day off. The tips directly pay for my day off. And everything I do during my day off. So it'd be great to get some of the rewards today. We got about an hour and twenty minutes left on today's stream. Just so everyone knows. I found a cave entrance, and over the years, I've moved a number of supplies. It's a regular home big. away from home. All I see you Stop this! Big, 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 little people. What is this? Why you big, big, big. I don't know. We're in Arkham North. It's a way to get to Arkham North through a door rather than through, I guess, the gate. It's weird. And then the gate's locked, right? All right, so they want me to go all the way around the edge there. See that? Hmm. This way. Oh, look, more enemies. It's, back. it's time to fool on my enemies. It's very hard to do the combos in this one. It really is. Like... They made it much more difficult. Later on, it's much easier to get those combos flowing. In this one, they interrupt a lot. Alright, I think here... We do this. Follow the cave to Dead Man's Point. So this cave, there's a cave over here I see. That's what this was, because we had found this earlier. 
I was actually wondering what the hell this was. It's a cave to Dead Man's Point, apparently. Oh, look at this. Look what I found. A random Riddler trophy. You mean that the one that's in the Gotham River right now? I don't think that would have been too easy to get. <laughs> fool on my enemies. Fool on my enemies. Batman always fools on his enemies. Oh, look what we found. Chronicle of Arkham Scan. Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering. It's none of anyone's business. The effects were felt everywhere. My father fell first, infected by some foul disease. My mother lived on, but only in a dream. Well, so she lived on a I returned for the rest of her life. Home to care for her. Yeah. For she remained in her bed for as long as her Bedridden body for life. continued Damn. to breathe. Her tears kept me awake at night. Do you think there's enough of these Spirit of Arkham things? Jesus, look Miserable. how many. This is Ridiculous amounts. To the bat cave. Do, 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 do. Yes, they said that you're a gay boy. <clears throat> oh, and that we're gonna make love to each other nice. tonight. Oh, uh, Batman, do you want to explain the room with skulls all over it? No? No need to explain this, huh? On the way to the Batcave? <laughs> Batman doesn't kill anyone except for the giant pile of skulls inside of, you know, his way to the Batcave. Of course. <clears throat> yes, I grew up watching the Batman animated series. I love that show. I used to watch it all the time. And off he goes. Batman could fly. And then, of course, in the later versions, he flies distances, and goes up and down, has elevation adjustments and everything. <laughs> ah, his bats are starting to get messed up. Probably the fight with Bane did some of that. Identity confirmed. Disabling countermeasures. Security deactivated. No, I've not seen the new Batman movie. The Bat Cave on Arkham Island, of course. Was it? I wonder if this was canon with the comics. If you ever had a Bat Cave on Arkham Island in the comics, or if this was just for the game. <clears throat> and he has a nice water feature, right? The entrance of his cave always a nice touch. Spared no expense. Ah. Uh. This a giant statue. Look, what the hell is that? Looks like there's a way to go over there, but it's currently blocked. I think once you get the pull rope, that's when you can you can pull those boxes out of the way and go that way. But we don't have it yet. Maybe we get it now. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Hmm. So, am I gonna continue playing God of War two? Uh, I was never intending to do a playthrough of God of War two, but people wanted it. I don't know. Dr. Young was heading up a project. It was big. Lots of external funding. Here are the last notes she filed. I can't make sense of it. What does it mean? Looks like she was experimenting on the Arkham patients. This new chemical only barely resembles the original venom compound. There are a number of changes. New bio to check after this cutscene. The strength of the drug. Multiple references to a Titan formula. Even a small amount could trigger a venom-like transformation in the host, eliminating the need for the storage tank Bane requires. Super strong venom. Hang on. These notes aren't complete. The formula is missing. That must be the secret Dr. Young is hiding. If Joker gets his hands on this, he will create an army of a thousand Banes. All right. My god. Is Joker crazy enough to do that? What am I saying? Ah, oh, got it. Batclaw. Now we can pull down those walls and things we've seen. <clears throat> this grapnel attachment can be used to grab and pull objects from a distance. The back claw can also attach to enemies. I'm going after her. She was heading to the mansion with cash. I'm going up top via the catacombs. Alright, by the way. 
He's so worried about his equipment, he covers it in plastic. <laughs> I didn't know so Batman nice. was an e-freak. I guess he is. Hold on, I want to see this new character bio. Penny Young was always a brilliant student who was prepared to do anything to advance professionally. She's built up a reputation for being a cold, calculating woman Ooh. focused only on the project at hand. She was hired at Arkham Asylum by Warden Quincy Sharp to head up the Asylum's research department and to finally restore Hulk sanity to the more deranged of Gotham City's supervillains. Why she's developing Titan, uh, I don't know what that has to do with that. Right. Riddler challenges here. Where? Game. In, uh... <laughs> the caves. Puzzling, isn't it? So they want me to go up here to Arkham Island North, but I have to go through the caves to do it. Look what! Look at this. No. So immediately they give me something that I can't do. It looks like controlled explosion, but I can't put the explosion on there, right? Do you need a grenade or something from later? I'm trying to think. Like, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Because you well, can't just put I the do? bat gel there because it, there's nowhere to stand. So you can't do it yet. Okay. Stop this! Yeah, I can't do that. All right. So I'm being told, talking about? for now, all we have is the basic Bat Claw. That later on, you can get the ultimate Bat Claw. And that's the one where you can actually uh, pull walls down. But we don't have that ability yet. We can only pull objects for now. All right, so we got to get that later. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, we can now pull the grates off the walls, of which we found, I would say, quite a few so far. Here we go. Give it a tug. Sorry, boss. It took a little longer to find them than you figured it would. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll the old sewers. Shut up! Oh, there's a trophy behind me. Wait, no! What I need to do here, I think, is get the uh, line launcher. Yeah, I can't do this yet. This is the line launcher where you shoot horizontally across. There's no way I'm going to be able to reach this from here. Okay. Nope. Need the line launcher, then I come back to get that trophy. Okay. Hashtag sewer level. By the way, thank you guys for 100 likes on today's stream. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Look out, there's a black woman coming up. She takes some bolt out. Boom. Steals the backpack. Why are we to fight? that where you pull them towards you and you instantly take them down with like a clothesline but i don't have that yet i think i have to unlock it that's really cool because now you do combo zip them boom take them down turn around combo toss one into another you start doing all this free-flowing combat which is really neat but we don't have all those abilities yet that's right euphoric joker says remember in gotham city they add the ability to grab trophies from a distance in the back well i don't think you can do that in this one let's try it nope you got to touch it Yep, see? No auto lock on. That's it, Riddler Trophy. Thank you to 61 Second Man for a dollar for the tip. He said, when you and Kat go to Europe, eventually, where will you visit? The Mediterranean, Scandinavia, the UK, somewhere else, or a specific country or countries? Uh, if we ever could, which I don't know if we ever will be able to at this point in our lives, being honest, 
uh, we would like to do a tour of Europe of some of the major areas. Like, definitely some parts of the UK. Maybe France. Um, maybe, oh, there's an interview tape here. Maybe, you know, some parts of Germany. Italy, for sure. You know, that kind of stuff. So, all right. Interview tape. No. <laughs> wow, what an interview. Uh, shout out to Eric, who just did another $3 tip. He said he wanted to be sure that I reached the, uh, the first goal today. Thank you, Eric, for the tip. So with that, we will hit the $50 tip. So Gunner Glasses, at the very least, we get today. Thank you guys for that support. Uh, remember, at $100, you guys get to pick a hat. We do have over an hour left on the stream. So, if anyone was thinking of supporting via tipping, uh, makes sense to do it sooner rather than later. You know, if we had $100, then you get to vote on a silly hat for me to wear for the rest of the stream. And obviously, you want to have that for longer. So, thank you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm off by a dollar. I need that money. I really do. I need that money. Correct. To pay my bills, it's 51 You're absolutely correct. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Crap, there's stuff all over my glasses. All right. <clears throat> good, good. Okay, dead air. So wait, where am I? Let me take a look. So I lost my bearings here. Uh, okay. There's two ways to go according to this. There's this way, which is a long, a long walk. See? There's also behind me. What's behind me over here? Whoa! Kill a croc! We'll find you. Rip your flesh like paper. Croc wants to fight. He's feeling pissy. So this is a dead end. There's no way you can go that way, but that's a cool jump scare. Killer Croc jump scare. I've been digging deeper into Dr. Young. According to her bank records, there have been multiple payments starting last April until two months ago. Then nothing. The payments came from a company owned by uh, Mr. Jack White. One of Joker's oldest aliases. So... Joker pays Dr. Young to create his army, and then all of a sudden he stops. Doesn't make any sense. From PayPal. Hmm. He was the one financing $16 this new venom called Titan. PayPal. Interesting. Aha. There we go. Killy Croc just wants a hug, I'm being told. Maybe. You never know what the motivations of supervillains can be, right? Especially one who's been mutated and might have some brain issues. <laughs> okay, then. I think we got everything in this area. Wait. Just a light bulb. I thought it was something up there. It's a light bulb. Tch. A puzzle has many sides, only some are visible. It's like sides of a, of a die, maybe? Hmm. Look at this thing. Oh god, it's complex. We got a we got a trophy up there, multiple levels. Oh brother. A gear on the floor. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. Hello, Jasmine. Dr. Young put a block on her account. Sounds like she had a change of heart. She tried to block the payments. Joker doesn't like it when his partners try to back out. So he decided to get himself back to Arkham, find his formula, and create the Arkham staring at me for? and 51 cents exactly. from PayPal. Jasper's now staring at me. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Why are you staring directly at me? What's going on? What happened? Now Batman's dying. Oh, yeah? I'm being told there's a lot of trophies in this room. I'll be back here again to get most of them later. Here's one right here. Can I get it already? K. 
can't jump this? You can't jump that to get it. Why the hell can't I go up there? This area is falling apart. It's not safe to use the grapple. I need to huh. climb up the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. That's not cool. Batman doesn't want to do it the old-fashioned way. Two mail stand out. The first is a resignation letter dated last week. Sounds like she was trying to get away. And the second? A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. Uh, she's begging to stop the experiment. Says it's too dangerous. She's not listening. Let's see. Random threats to her family. A couple of bad jokes. A couple of bad jokes. Go on. He says, I'm coming for you. Yeah. I want what I paid for. And then another joke about wheelchairs. It's lovely. And the drawing of some kind of donkey. No mystery why she's so scared. Oh, no, you sir. didn't, you Off. motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Let's go around this way. Yeah, you can't jump in this Mark, area. What's up, Battle Duck? Words. How you doing today? Good to see ya. I'm Another hidden Riddler trophy. I'm gonna find out who's a fucking boss. You, you motherfucker. You, you are fucking... You you are ha ha ha. Let this be noticed. I'm gonna find internet. my socks. You're That's funny. Fuck. And you are done. Okay. Nothing there? No. So we're going this way. Just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nah, it doesn't look like I did. Oh, look at this! Okay, we need to get a good perspective on this one. The question is, where's the dot that I need for it? I don't see the dot anywhere. Maybe I gotta be over there looking up? Yeah, it's gotta be like a weird perspective, and I don't think this is it yet. Okay. What, what do I do? Here we go. Another one. Can I reach this one? Yes, I can. Damn, there's a lot of trophies here. You want to play the fucking game? Sewer bat. <laughs> Can I go in here? No, dead end. Okay. There's another one way out there. I don't know if I can reach that one. I can't see the question mark from here. So this, there it is. It's further that way. Nah, I can't see up from here, so it can't be this perspective. Maybe right here. Maybe from over here, one of these angles? I think so. We just gotta find the dot. I don't know where the dot is. Oh no, Batman! I slipped. I am enjoying the game. Thank you, Lightman. Having a good time, except for I slipped and tripped. It's embarrassing when Batman slips and trips. Wait, where am I? It's not this one, because it's not centered. See that? It can't be this one. Gotta do this again. Am I gonna get all the collectibles? I don't know. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can. I don't know if it, how feasible it'll be for me to get every single one. So if I'm... Okay, if I'm standing here, let's take a look at this. Okay, we're getting real close. But again, where's that dot? Right? Like, where's that dot? Delivery. It almost seems like... I don't know. I'm not seeing the dot anywhere. And it looks like this is our last chance. I don't see anywhere else that we can do it. But it didn't work down there. When we were down there, it definitely didn't work. Maybe from that ledge... Maybe there's a ledge right there?
Oh, that's it! That's the ledge, and he fell. That was it. I think you have to stand on that spot right there. That was it. Son of a bitch. Maybe... Okay, wait a minute. Is this what we're just for? I think it is, right? Maybe. Hold on. First of all, there's a trophy. This is it. I found it. Got it. All right, cool. Some of these are real tricky, right? But hey, we did it, sweet. All right, but now the question is, where do we actually go? Oh, I can upgrade again. Wow, we get so many upgrades. And by the way, it's time to split the part too. So let's see what upgrade I want. All these combat upgrades I got. That's the, the armor. Stone with the batarang. Maybe I'll get the remote control batarang at this point. I think I might. Yeah, let's do remote control battering. Because there's going to be, I think, puzzles you need this for in the game. So I think we should get this now. Okay. When's the next Batman stream this weekend? It would be Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday. This weekend will be the next one. I want more too. I'm, I'm enjoying this X-Shooter. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's chill. It's chill because this game is not like Arkham City where you're going around constantly fighting and stuff. You know, it's it's more... There's a lot of downtime to explore and do this stuff between all the action sequences. <laughs> All right, let's do the remote control battery. <clears throat> cool. There it is. Select the gadget. You toss it. And uh, then you steer it around. All right. So now, where do I go from here? Not here. That was not correct. There's got to be another way to go. So this is where you should be to get the tro the two trophies. Let's go back. There's a trophy to catch your own remote control batarang. Oh, I should just do that right now then. Shit. I think. In the, pre in the future games, you could turn it around mid-air. I don't think you could do that in this one, right? Yeah, I don't think so. And you can't, you can't change the speed well, either, can I do? you? Catch! Nice. <laughs> That's cool. So, what, what there was a trophy do? over there. There it is. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. Here we are. This is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> now, how would I get that trophy, right? How would I get that far across? Maybe, again, it's the line launcher. This is probably the line launcher, I'm thinking. I don't really see... Yeah, you still can't grapple across. There's no way a jump's going to get that far. So probably once you get the line launcher, you line launch maybe to that column. Yeah. All right. You can't do that one yet. We're supposed to go this way. Cool. We got a lot of trophies there. That was nice. Trophies and riddles. Ugh. I like this because it's not only just Batman, but it's all kind of puzzle solving and stuff. It's fun. The collection aspect of the game is very good. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, definitely. You've heard Joker's the maneuverability of the remote control battery and got much better in City. Definitely. Interview tape. Thank you, Fire, for re-upping your membership. Oh, what a moron. 
I'm huh. just gonna just stood still. Pay attention, dumbass. All right. All right, guys. Quick breaking of the video, and actually, I have to I have to piss. Give me like a minute. I'm just gonna run next door. And by the way, my wife's gonna be home from work soon, so I'm gonna close the office door as well. Give me like two seconds. I'll be right back. Dead air. The homosexuals are evil people who are all passing around AIDS. A mutated creature that would look like it was sitting in a wheelchair. Last shot. Fly, golden arrow. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, last 50 minutes or so of the stream. Um, I want to say thank you for being a great audience, and thanks to everyone who did support the stream in any way, whether that be likes, super chats, memberships, or tips. Last chance if you want to contribute in any way. Uh, see if we can maybe hit that tip goal of $100 and get a hat. But I would say let's do it sooner rather than later. And, uh, you know, any tips will help me really do my off tomorrow money. regardless. So thank you, guys. Okay. What do you call someone who is oh, what just happened? Three quarters of my riddles. A Batman. So, self 25% of the Riddler challenges, and I got a trophy for it. 25%. Probably like 25, 50, 75, and 100, I bet. All right. All these back ways. So, I mean, it's very Metroidvania-esque, for sure, with all these different ways to do things, and... Later on, once you get all the abilities and you have the ability to, like, free roam and try to solve all the Riddler shit, that's when it really gets, like, complex. <clears throat> okay. Well, here we are. Boom! I love the slow-mo when he does it. <laughs> My favorite so far was when he took out that whole room of, uh, the whole room of thugs. That was really neat. Fruto7 did a super chat saying, Sorry, getting so cute about the app, PC app, talk. App. So when I laugh and I go, I'm not sure what you mean, or what you're talking about in the video comments, <laughs> in which case, like, app, you did leave app, some comments. App, app. Basically like, I don't know why he's not doing this, I don't know why he's not doing that, and now incidentally, I'm not getting a new PC anytime soon anyway, so it didn't really matter, did it? Anyway, thank you, Fruits, for the super chat. It's all good. Don't worry. Thoughts on the Batman actors? Like, as I've already said, my favorite is Michael Keaton. I think they've all done a good job. Like, uh, except for, you know, Val Kilmer and, jo and George Clooney in their own way kind of did all right with what they were given, even though the, the scripts were shit. You know? Take out the sniper. Boom. And then get shot. I'll see you tonight, Kugel. My sounds good. How exciting. Oh, you didn't kill me. Sorry, you didn't kill me. Ding dong! Joker again! Don't worry about the bat! I put a few surprises along the way. 
Side he's already taken out. Oh yeah, look. Oh no, he's not. You're kill, and that's it. Because you're just gonna waste our time again. Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the armory. Now I'm okay. Because of the silent takedown, he didn't know I was here. There we go. Double silent takedown. Nicely done. Did I like or just like Ben Affleck's Batman? I didn't see much of it. I, I only saw him from the Batman and Superman movie, which I thought it was just okay. I don't have money to do it. 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 I never saw him outside of that because I didn't see the Justice League movie, so I can't really comment. Too informed. I feel like he would have been a, big, a bigger player, or at least a better opportunity to be a better player in the Justice League movie, right? Oh lizard. shit! Don't let him hit you! How many pieces? So I didn't do this before. I didn't see it. Stop this! That's how you get the secrets map. A map yep. will always help those who are stuck. And I still I don't have the hacking thing yet. I still can't do this. I gotta get out this way. Okay. Oh, I love the Justice League cartoon X shooter. I've seen everything. I've, oh, I owned it all at one point. So Justice League cartoon, yes. Movie, I've not seen. So where do they want me to go? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, they want me to go back east to the mansion. I see. <clears throat> okay. Damn, look at all these riddles. I'm surrounded by riddles. What, what do I do? But I probably can't do most of them, right? I still can't do this one. You need the hacker to do this one. According to this, there's two. What, what do I there's do? There's two. How could there be two? I only know of one. Unless there's a, you know what? I think there's an item in there, plus the joke, the plus the riddle. So I think that's the two. According to this, there's two more straight ahead. Yeah. Which I don't think I can do. Yeah, see, I need the, I need this to pull, and I can't pull the wall yet. So there might be one to two in there as well that I can't do. That are right next to each other. It says there's one over here. Meow. Oh, yeah, another one I gotta hack. Yep, look. Hack. Yep. So I can't do any of the other riddles here. They all, they're all they all hacking riddles. Okay, let's head further east. Did I ever use shake weights for working out? No, I never, I've never used a shake weight. I never had one. Okay. Ow. I wanted to run around it, but okay. Face first. Sounds good. <laughs> Face first into the fray. Alright, back to Arkham East. Maybe we'll find some more riddles while we're there. Oh, oh, oh! Where the hell do these things constantly come from? The chattering teeth. Okay. Couldn't see. Yeah, I can't see because the camera. That's really annoying. The guys with the knives. 
You have to hit him with the stun, but the stun doesn't move forward. You get locked in place. So if you're in the middle of a combo and the guy's not in your face, you're basically screwed. You can't continue your combo. And that really stinks. Damn. They got fucked up. I don't think there's anything up here. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing. We did it all. Okay. More enemies coming up in the next room, though. Who's my favorite DC hero? Mine is Nightwing, says Zebby Bobebi. Oh, favorite DC hero of all time. Elongated man! <laughs> I just can't get over how long he can get. Here we go. You're supposed to be following the game, following the fun gameplay, and chilling and relaxing. Any with me. available psychos, killers, Got em. maimers, and murderers that are not yet in the old mansion. Hurry up, you fools, before I feed you to the battle. Have I played Red Ninja on PS2? I've never heard of it. So I guess the answer is no. Is this another? It's another hack door. Man, once we get the hacker, we're going to be able to get into so many areas that we can't get into right now. I don't know, remember how long into this game it is till you get it. Right? But damn. It's gonna be a ton of stuff to do. So we got two assholes Hello, there. This is obviously boys. where you're supposed to go. You gotta open that grating, see? Please remember to take good care of all our hostages. No good one there. However, a bruise here or a, a cut there won't go miss. Another trophy I can't get because of hacking. Oh, I forgot about the snipers. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, you get your health but it back. always seems like it's a I don't black remember. hole. Because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always oh, still yeah? in before and, and nothing's Haunter, going to Before Joker says I double tapping you. X, you know, this roll, he says that'll end up getting you close enough to do the stun in the middle of a combo. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just jumping in the graves. The Here we go. Get behind them. <laughs> what is uh, the drum beat? <laughs> I was completely worthless. <laughs> oh, come on! Boom! Beautiful hit. That was awesome. Pulled him with the uh, with the back claw. That was cool. Okay. Oh, I just noticed. Look, they spray painted the statue of Quincy. I just noticed that. All right. Is there anything else we can do in this area that we haven't done yet? Um. Don't know what these Chronicles of Arkham would be. The thing is, we don't have the map. For this area? Yeah. If we had the map of this area, it would be perfect. We don't have it yet. Maybe we don't get it here Please yet. Please remember I don't know. to keep an eye open for any flying rodents during your duties. I hear the asylum suffers from infestations from time to time. That claw down. Alright, guess we're going to the mansion. Taco Zillow says it's an improvement to the Quincy statue. Well, that's subjective. Oh, can we open the door? No, huh? No, nah, it's too blocked. You have to go through the grating. What about 
Nah, this one too. Two blocks. You can't go in these. You gotta go through the grating from now on. Okay. Cool. Ah! Radiant entering. Gain access to the Arkham Mansion after it's locked down by the Joker. Oh, ooh, I gotta eat it! Gotta eat it! Gotta eat the height! Oh, Three enemies, one arm. Because he's the Batman! Oh! Drop to the back. Beautiful animation there. <laughs> I'd love to get my health back, but I'm not exactly sure how. <laughs> so now we're inside. So is there a whole new slew of riddles here? There is. Everything's different. Can you see where these are going to be? The Orange Rover for a puppet show. It'll be a cool day in like Rajal Ghoul. Rises again. Strange transfer transfer request. Who Who's the main, main man in the main man? hall? This is the main hall, right? Reception? You would think this is the main hall. I guess I'm getting my health back now. Not really sure what to do here. Finding the collectibles will give you some health. Oh. Yes, Kevin, the stupid I told you. What, the what uh, I when I went on break, I went to play my playlist. I hit what, play, what so a song had ended, and the playlist malfunctioned on YouTube, and it auto played a video of Nostalgia Critic doing an ad placement for Honey. As I told you the other day, I was watching one of his videos on one of my walks, and I was like, "Man, he's got all these ad placements now in his videos," and it just happened to play one of his randomized videos with a stupid ad in the beginning. I know, pretty dumb, that the playlist still don't fucking work right. <clears throat> Beating on thugs also will give you health. Okay, so basically beating people up and, and getting the collectibles gives you health. Got it. So. Don't think this is it. The main man in the main hall. Looks like him, but maybe that's not the solution. I don't know. I can go in here. Yes, what I do is I, I'll uh, either hold it or I can just listen while I walk. Oh, what happened? My headphones just died. And now they're back. <laughs> that was weird. The whole audio just died out of nowhere. Oh, the hidden trophy, that's all this was. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a I'm moron? Out. I guess we'll just go to the next room, if it opens. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. How do I get up there? Oh, I see. There it is. Look. It's above me. Aha! What, what do I do? Oh, 
Oh, it's a secret. It's one of the Arkham things. Cool. Here we are. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed ah. to a wealth of new ideas. I began my day returning home in good spirits, eager to see my wife and family. I ended it kneeling in their blood, broken fragments of my life, pouring through dripping red fingers. It's a very uh, family-friendly, G-rated story. <laughs> Aha! Who's the main man in the main hall? Here's the good news. We have Dr. Young. Too far away, I gotta get closer. Oh, a lot of enemies. I want it out. How did I lose my combo? Nice! Ooh, it was like a triple nut kick. A triple punt to the balls. Oh my god. That was brutal. Brutal ball strikes. Alright, well. How is this obscured? It's definitely this statue has to be it. They're gonna tell me that's it's obscured. That's not the main man in the main hall right there. Seriously. It's not what I wanted. No, I... Oh, my God. Stop it. There we go. Oh, really? Before Joey says, surprisingly, it's not the solution. There's something else going on in here. Oh, okay. You would think that would be the main man in the main Stop hall, this. the giant fucking statue, but I guess not. Let's look around. A case with nothing in it. This guy's dead. Commissioner Gordon, arrest recognition award. That's it. Commissioner Gordon's arrest recognition Talking award. Little uh, nice. Poor guy's dead. The. Anything else over here before we continue on? Just looking around, you know, for like a hidden trophy. Nope, don't see anything. This is the main door's blocked. That's why we couldn't get in that way. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it went off. AJ says, I want to thank me and the mods in the chat for combating the trolls daily. The supporters are grateful. Can only imagine frustration. Yeah, it's constant. It's constant shit. I'm just so used to it from doing this for so long. I can't imagine someone who gets into like content creation I'm by. and has to I'm deal with by. the constant nonsense. I'm, I'm, used to it, but I'm just so used to this shit. I'm by. Not a big deal anymore, AJ. <clears throat> More teeth. Oh, here we go again. Let's see here. So I just got another troll behind the scenes. I got a ban. Here we go. <laughs> now here's the super chase I love in the sequels they expand upon the lore of Batman by adding in more villains and companions like Robin Nightwing and Catwoman yes they, I mean this is one of the best gaming series that I've played since I've been a content creator that's absolutely for sure you know treats the characters with respect expand each game expands upon the previous one with new gameplay mechanics and things that are really awesome for sure, it's really, really good. Really well done. Yes, I do yeah. touch my face a lot when I stream, but I'm at home. 
There's no virus here. Virus All right, guys, bro. Well, have an hour left on the stream. Oh, I touch my face as much as I damn want when I'm at home. When I'm at home. Ow! Or then I should have to touch here. my face. I don't have a chance to wash my hands. You know, then it's okay again. But you're right. I do touch my face a lot. I agree with you. <laughs> Is that seriously it? Teeth. That's all that was in here. A set of teeth. Wow. <laughs> Anything else? We got this security gate. Big, 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 big. All I see you do is big, 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 big. Again, a hacker box right there. I, I don't really see a way past it. So maybe we can't do this right now. Maybe we go through this door. Well, we have multiple ways to go to try some of these doors. All right. What, what do I do? There we go. The West Wing. Answer me! I said I don't know. She could be. Shut up. Go to sleep. Uh-oh. What's that collar do? Why is it making that noise? It's the suicide collar. And it sounds weird. Suicide collar. Well, they've got some other name, but well. Ding dong die! Ding dong die! Oh, ding dong! <laughs> ding dong die! Oh! So if you're gonna be an asshole, you're gonna be treated like an asshole. You're gonna be shown the door. <laughs> a new upgrade available for the Batarang? Today's been incredibly oh. slow. Maybe maybe you can use it to disable the collars. That is very annoying sounding. Nothing in these side rooms, huh? What's the point of them then? Huh. <laughs> PayPal is a network of uh, interconnected banking yeah, institutions guess. that use uh, a magnetic stripe receptacle. Yeah, look. Uh, Digital battery is directly controlled by Batman other than being released. Uh, That's the remote control one. one. Oh, here it is. In a legal Turn to, re uh, to capacity, resonate at the exact frequency uh, of the nearest Arkham suicide collar uh, attracting that henchman. Uh, Useful for luring a target into a trap or away from an area of importance. Once thrown requires a short recharge period, so it lures enemies to certain areas. I see. Okay. <laughs> ba -doop, ba -doop, boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. It's very annoying. Okay. My nose is itching. Ah. Oh, anything in this room? Any secrets? Well, sadly. Yeah, controlled explosion. I don't have this yet. So I can't do that. Doubt I can do anything with dad's probably hacking, right? Dr. Young's office. Yeah, you know, can't get in this way, so that's a no-go. Records office? Let's see what's in the records office while we're here. I guess so. Strange transfer request. Hugo Strange. Tell him he's not talking. Tell us where the bitch went. You don't aim nothing. No, no, I'm close to this. Go on, here we go again. Sure you will. Harley Quinn is on her way up here soon. She knows ways to loosen your tongue. And you don't want to find out how she does it. She can do her work. I ain't talking. Period. Good for you. Someone else. 
All right. And we're to take down Zoop. Rope a dope, a dope. Rope a dope, a dope. I got a trophy for doing that. That's awesome. If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and stuff, oh my god, camera, does I anyone? Do Mike, this guy is such an idiot. This troll is such a complete dunce. There's no concept of anything on, in reality. <laughs> complete idiot, loser. Here we go. Zoop. Another one? Another one! Zoop, I just keep getting them all. Oh my god. I seriously just keep getting them all in a loop. This is great. Thank you, Jachurti, for helping with the moderation. I appreciate that. <laughs> and now the last loser. Oh, -ho! oh yes. And perfect clean room clearing. Stay silent. Over here. Rescue Aaron Cash again. <laughs> Thanks. Where did Dr. Young go? I told her to run. These guys uh. she was looking for, I told her to go to her office and hide. Does she keep her records there? I guess. She was pretty desperate to get in there. Her office is over there. How long ago was this? I need to find her notes before Joker gets his hands on them. 20 minutes, maybe more. What's so important about the notes? Joker wants them. That makes them important. Stay here. I'm going to find her. Copper, copper, Not copper, copper. Fuck you, copper, I'll copper. I'll try the radio. See there, if anyone else you. is around. Okay. <laughs> Trophy. How did I get in there? Ugh, it's hard to tell. How would I get in there? You see the trophy on the floor. How would I get inside I that area? Perhaps there's a grating down there or something? Where's all the clown? Yes, I'm talking to chat. No supervisor is going to try multiverses tonight and use Rain Dog. That's cool. Uh, no, I don't want to do teams or anything. I don't want to mess around with that feature as of yet. How do I drop? I thought I saw an opening, but maybe I didn't. I thought I saw an opening in the bars. I can't open this door. How the hell do I get in there? Oh, here we go. This must be it. Alright, now, something about Hugo Strange is the other riddle for this room, correct? What does this book say? There's something about Hugo Strange we have to find. And that's what the riddle is for the room, so we have to look around for a Hugo Strange reference. There's no quick way out, right? I just gotta use the same grating. How did I even... Where is the grating that I came in in? There it is. Okay. Oh, I can't. You forks the Joker says there's no way to get the Hugo Riddle yet. Damn it. Well, that sucks. I like getting as much as I can. As soon as I can. Central Control, please respond. 
Is this it here? Restricted files. This is probably it. Probably gotta hack what? the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Guess I'm not doing that. <clears throat> okay. There is an interview. How do I get into this one? Uh, hmm. What Hello. What do I do? A mutated I'm creature sure that was, looked like it was sitting in a wheelchair. Anyway. Into this one. Mark, I'm glad to hear you're feeling much better. I'm enjoying Batman. I need those, that money. Sure. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. I don't see a way in. At all, right? It's up to the all the way up to the ceiling is the bars. I don't see a grate. Right? I don't see a door. Oh, never mind. Aha, got it. What, what do I do? What, what do I do? That's not what I intended. Come on now. Hello, little lizard. Here we are. Okay. What's going on? Here we go. Interview. I'm very confused. Scarecrow. Patient would refer to me after the incident with Dr. Murphy. He appears to have suffered a breakdown of sorts. I believe it was brought about after the loss of his wife and child. As yet, the patient has been unable to speak. Continued observation shows little mental activity. It's as if the shock of what he saw triggered his mental collapse. Hmm. What do you see? It's been pretty slow. Oh shit. No, this is not an MLB shirt, it's a parody of MLB featuring the scout from uh Team Fortress 2. I've had this one for quite some time. All right, so we got, I, I'm assuming we got most of the secrets you can get in this room. I can't get into that door hacker area. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't want any drama in the stream chat. I just said the scout from Team Fortress 2. Joe Man says, scout from what? <sighs> All right, so now they're telling me where they want me to go. This is security officer Cash. We are in the mansion and have encountered armed enemies. Please respond. All right. Did Amadeus go mad or was he just dizzy? One of the Beatles things is right there. Look at that. On the column there, you can see it. Amadeus, Amadeus. Going after the notes yourself, eh? I've got a crew working on the doctor as I speak. They'll squeeze the fog out of us soon enough. Team? Huh. A room that doesn't appear to have any access to it from where I am. That won't open. Okay. That's right, rock me Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Ch -ch -ch. Jay says he always plays the Scarecrow in Injustice 2. Scarecrow was pretty interesting in Injustice 2. I, I liked the character design. I played with him for a little bit. I love Hulk Hogan's dick.
Look at this. I'm Did Amadeus go mad or was he dizzy? You're cheating. You must be. This looks like this is Amadeus Arkham's room or something, right? Look how crazy. What is of his own face? Crazy. I don't know. I don't even know what this room's supposed to be, but. It was a riddle. We solved the riddle, so we're all good. What's this up here? Where does this go? Oh, we're in a new area. There's a whole upper area to this room that you couldn't even see from the ground level. Look at this. Aha! Very nice. Calendar. Is Calendar Man in this one? I think he is, isn't he? Doesn't he have a cell somewhere hidden? I think there's a hidden cell that represents Calendar Man somewhere in the game. Open. Oh, I think I'm gonna. You said that ten minutes ago. You can be the one to tell him. I'm not gonna. It'll be open any second. Damn it! You're an idiot. Joker's not gonna be happy, and you know what that means. Cold Dean Hell rises again. Must be Rajal Ghoul. Perfect combo. I love it when you get the perfect combos. Joker's thugs were trying to get into that office. It looks like they couldn't get through the main door. Got to find a different way in. My laugh sounds like act, act, act. Anything with Rajal Ghoul around here? <laughs> or, <laughs> does that sound like act, 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 act? No, it sounds nothing like that at all. Music got very excited. <laughs> Oh god, more limbs in fucking jars. Disgusting. It's Rajal Ghoul. We had Coldy and Hell when Ghoul rises again. Which is hilarious because Rajal Ghoul does rise again in the future games, right? Alright, here we go. Uh go, 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 Little go. is known fatty, fat, at the fat, early fat. years of the nearly immortal Rajal Ghoul, whose name means the demon's head. It is known that he has lived for many centuries due to the Lazarus Pits, a mystical and alchemical brew that restores his youth. A brilliant master of strategy and organization, Rajal Ghul's goal is to save the Earth from ecological devastation by destroying most of its population. He recognizes Batman as both a worthy foe and a possible ally, except that Batman cannot accept his dystopic worldview. Batman also shares a love-hate relationship with Raj's daughter, the beautiful Talia. So there you go. That is not Doctor Strange, that is Rajal Ghul. How dare you say that? I'm about to level up again. I sure leveled a lot today. Door doesn't open, door locked. Aha! I think I found the way into the office! This is good because once we do the office, whatever it is, then I think we do do? set for today's stream. It'll hopefully auto save for us. Uh, you. <laughs> Ugh. I need th that Disgusting. money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Here we are. I am a cat and I Disgusting. like my balls. <laughs> it says that. I am cat and I like you. arrived. Oh, is that black mask behind us? Black mask mask? The only question now is, who opened it? No sign of forced entry. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Let's see. Good. Dr. Young got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. I need to follow her and find out where she put them. Alright, so they're not even in here. <laughs> How do you mask your feelings without losing control? I figured that was Black Mask. Yep. Following the suspicious death of his multi-millionaire parents in a fire, Roman Sionis inherited their fortune and then went on to bankrupt their company. 
Saved by a bio by Bruce Wayne, Sionis became to represent and hate Wayne. Fixated on the concept of masks, Sionis carved one from his father's black coffin and sought revenge. His ensuing battle with Dark Knight caused his mask to be burnt into his skin, remaking him as the Black Mask. Sionis now is a feared gang leader and one of the most powerful mob bosses in Gotham with a bird. Today's been incredibly slow. The Batman. Batman. And now I can upgrade. Okay, what do I want to upgrade? Uh, we got all the combo shit. Yeah, we did. We could do increased health, which would definitely help. Um, the remote control battering, I got that. No, but um, the sonic battering that disables the guys with the collars are actually lures them. You know, I think I'm just good to go for base damage upgrade or base health upgrade at this point. I think it makes sense. And this is going to unlock. I was just going to say it's probably going to unlock the future stages, and I was correct. The future upgrades. Okay. So, they want me to investigate. No. Wait. Yes. Here we go. Oracle. I'm on Dr. Young's trail. I've had to calibrate the scanner to only show recent prints. If I follow these, I will find her or the notes. I hope it works. Just so you know, the GCPD found one of Joker's bombs downtown. It was full of marzipan and kittens. As I thought, it's just a twisted diversion. The real action's on Arkham. Marzipan and kittens. Care how it All right, so I guess what we got to do is get out of here. I just wanted to stop and uh, follow her fingerprints out of the room. But where's the way I came in? There it is. I'll see you Friday, Gut. Sounds good. Thanks for chilling with me today, man. God, I kicked up Joe Gay. I seriously <laughs> cannot stop Joe Gay today. Oh my God. What the? <laughs> what is he afraid of? I don't remember. I don't remember this plot line. Hold up. It's gonna clear up. I swear. Ah, look, they busted the scanner Jesus and everything. Christ. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is a good spot okay. for us to adjourn for today. As you can see, when we move forward, there'll be a Joker box. Likely with some enemies and things in it. Great progress today, right? Really good progress. Uh, tons of fun finding all the Riddler stuff. And I hope that you guys uh, are still enjoying the playthrough as much as I am. Good stuff. Thank you all. Everyone who chilled. Everyone who engaged the content. If you're watching this on YouTube, remember, liking the videos, leaving comments on the videos helps a ton. I would really appreciate if you would do that if you really like this throwback playthrough. 
Thanks to everyone who contributed in any way. And uh, until next time, like I said, this we'll continue this on the weekend. You know, we got a day off, and then we got uh, Final Fantasy on Friday. We got the special marathon on Saturday. So this will all continue I Sunday this weekend. All right, guys? But thank I you all. Really it. fun stream. I'm actually really enjoying the game. Uh, this time around, it's so different from 13 years ago, having the interaction and, and having fun conversation with all of you. And thank you all for that. All right, guys? Thank you. Until next time, peace out. Okay. All right, guys. So, that's it for this stream. All right, guys. Thank you for your support, and thanks for chilling. I'm now going to upload this, this uh, gameplay to DSP Gaming. By the way, thank you, AJ, for another super chat. He says, thanks for supporting good vibes. I should it's have been in order slow. soon, and then I can start tipping you. Have a great stream. Thank you, AJ. I appreciate that. All right. So, I'm going to upload this this uh, to the stream, or to the stream. I'm going to upload these, these videos to the channel and take a break. I'm actually going to shave during the break. Don't they are. Right, they're off tomorrow. Um, tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, another session of Multiverses, which should be a great time. I hope you guys are joining for that. A uh, new character is unlocked in Multiverses to play with. So I'm probably going to be doing all new stuff tonight. Not just the same characters I've used, but new characters this time around. Hope you'll see. Oh, join me for that. If not, I am not here tomorrow. Tiger, tiger. But I come back on Friday, and it'll be streams of Final Fantasy VII, paired with old-school Street Fighter Friday Night Fights. So, like hope you'll join me for all of that. Alright guys, thank you. You've been a great audience. Thanks for a great stream. See you tonight for Multiverses. Peace out and see you then.
Say goodbye.
you repel, and that's it. Because you're just going to waste our time again.
you down Cause you know me through and through When you are around I see the stars come out for you If we gon' set this fire We gonna do it right you yeah. We keep it burning higher We're gonna light this whole place up And you know When I'm with you I am alive This old place up, and you know When I'm with you, I am alive, alive You make me feel you all the night, the night You pull me in, you make me shine, shine You make me feel you all the night, the night I can't help it. I can't help it.